What is up, everyone? I'm Spike Gina. Yes, thank you. Legendary. That felt very good. Thank you. Keep saying that. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> Just try, buddy. Uh, three quick things. We want to get into this. Obviously, we're trying to catch up a little bit. Uh, first of all, uh, this is Majora's Mask, uh, but it's a little different than how you might have played it as a child. This is the randomizer. So uh, things are going to be ship shop shuffled around in all sorts of different chests, on mini games, on boss fights, and we just got to go around and find the stuff that you can see on the bottom of the screen below me. We need roughly all those things down there to beat the three remaining dungeons that have not been auto-completed, that being the Woodfall Temple, the Snowhead Temple, and the Stone Tower Temple. We got to do it. The second thing, please donate for Super Mario Odyssey, any percent by Dangerous. That category has not been featured in five years, and Dangerous is going to absolutely kill it. And the third and final thing, what is my file name, Char Bunny? Your file name. Sorry, I was looking at the bid where we're over 60000 or 60, yeah, $60,000 for Super Mario Let's go, Odyssey. Let's keep it going. going. Your file name, I know this is going to be shocking. Your file name is Yes Chef. Yes. <laughs> yes. Let's go. Yes, chef. <laughs> yes, longest possible file name I could have put in. All right, let's go. All right, so with that, we'll get into introduction stuff after this, but let's get started. I don't have to hit a live split key. That throws me off. <laughs> let's get started in three, two, one, go. Yes. <laughs> off we go. All right, so I'm not gonna lie. I don't remember what's up on this tower, so we're gonna go up and get it. You're gonna see a piece us. Of heart. I got you. There's a little piece of heart. <laughs> ah, you know what? Let's have a little bit. Let's have, you know a little bit of love in the crowd. Yeah, let's do it. All right, bam. That's one check down. There's like 190 to go. That's right. I will always take claps from y'all. Just go for it. And now we're gonna be doing our first trick of the run, where I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna do a little bit of a precise setup. And then slant, and then look down. And then all right, we're gonna go for it again. That's fine. This one might be a little far over. And then hold left. There you go. All right, so that should recoil me up there. And then we're going to go over there because sometimes you get a little baby jump and then you cry. And then we're going to open this up. We're going to get something cool. It's going to be the oh, captain's nice. hat. Okay. Scary and everyone boy. in the crowd's like, what does that mean? I don't know <laughs> what that is. So with that being said, let's first kick it over to, I believe we were going to do Fant first. Oh, no, we're actually just introduce my couch. How y'all doing? Well, I'm just picking up this fairy. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, so I'm Fant. I'm, I'm hitting this little track. I got the tablet here so you can see all the updates that are happening on the screen for you. Uh, I'm Gothic Zelda. I've been really into Majora's Mask Rando for about four years. I play all sanities constantly. It's really fun. If you like this game, you should definitely check it out. Uh, but yeah, really happy to be here. Hello, I'm Bidia James. I'm a frequent participant in uh, races and tournaments for Majora's Mask Randomizer. I'm very happy to be here. <laughs> I thought you were about to say, and I am a freak. Like, that's <laughs> what I thought the word. I'm built Somebody in the crowd is thinking the same thing. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we're going through our various checks right here, uh, all these different locations. As is the case with the randomizer, like I said in the introduction, uh, we're just going to be going around to a bunch of different item locations and trying to find all those things on the bottom. That captain's hat is both very cool because that gives me access to a song location in addition to a couple other minor checks. I'll take some cash early on, that's nice. Um, and you need the songs, a lot of them, in order to get into the various dungeons. Uh, but also, yeah, there's that. Um, I could not tell what was up in there. We will find out in a second. <laughs> I'm going to pick up a few more cash in case Tingle has something. And then we're going to be doing another trick here. Video, do you want to explain the basic concept of what I'm doing right here? Yeah, so Spike is going to jump up, up on top of the tree and get that check. But Tingle is just in range here that he's going to be able to line up a jump slash and oh. get that. Oh, but it's a bow, so you can just shoot Tingle oh normally. Gosh. So who cares? <laughs> you know what? Let's, let's give it go one. for it anyway. Yeah. For the fans. For the fans, let's do it anyway. So I do a little bit of a lineup here. I wait till he gets to the top of the screen and then roll and then probably fail it. And then, Ooh, oh, we failed it. I jump okay. slash late. That's fine. We can come over here, put on the bow, and then no one's going to remember that. <laughs> Nobody clips that, right? Gosh, my job's going to be done so quick. First try. <laughs> let's <laughs> Did it. All right, so the way Tingle works in this game, he's got six different item slots where he can sell you things. A red ruby, a piece of heart, and I don't want to... I should have bought the red ruby, dude. That was just a sale on money. Oh, well, that's fine. That's all good. And then let's also knock out a little... Where is that? Bam. Is that? Leg. <laughs> this game was definitely pushing the N64 in many ways. Yeah, so this is setting up the bomber's hide-and-seek. Normally, you get the bomber's notebook for this, but uh, in Randomizer, it could be anything. Yeah. So, yeah, just got to find the kids around Clocktown. Fun part about having Bo this early, too, is uh, 
you can shoot the bomber kids and then they sit down. It's kind of yep. mean, but it makes it easier. <laughs> Normally you're Deku at this part, so you're a bit faster and you can just spin into them. But if you do it again, you can shoot them with stuff. And yeah, bombs work too. You can throw bombs with them. Yeah, you can just, you can bully I've them never you thrown want. a bomb in there. <laughs> <laughs> like it's already metal enough that you're like, oh yeah, I'll play hide and seek. <laughs> Cocks a bow. Yeah, I love how they just no sell it as well. They just get hit by bows. Like, oh man, you got me. Yeah. Tickling my ankles here. All right. I'm going to bait this kid to go off while also getting this check over here. Throwing some jump slashes just to try to cut out a few ledge grabs here and there. Oh, okay. I guess we're going up here. That's fun. I love that. Scenic group. There you go. Side hop. Yeah, side hop directly. <laughs> what I'm trying to do there, if you do the little side hop, that still gives you a little bit of elevation. And that can allow you to grab the ledge and save like a few frames every time. Yeah. Don't. Ooh. Don't do that, game. Don't do that. <laughs> so that is Letter to Mama. That's a temporary item that goes away when you play the Song of Time. And you can only trade it in. <laughs> you can only trade it in if you also have the cafe mask. So it's one of the only items that depends on another item What's in order for you to check it. So. Yeah, anything in the vanilla game, I think most stuff that would go away with Song of Time also goes away in the randomizer. Mm -hmm. So you gotta you gotta take notes if you're playing MMR, yeah. or so. just think you're gonna remember it and then forget like I do. <laughs> I don't know. I think with four of us, we'll, we'll remember. It'll be, it'll be fine. Yeah, surely so. between four of us, we'll remember like chest, all the chest, Big chest in these clock towns. Got the letter to mama. We're good. So, so yeah, let's talk a little bit gothic, maybe about like just kind of, I think one of the most difficult. Oh, we're going to be in. Dude, she's, she's cooking. Done. Yes, chef. <laughs> oh, yes, chef. Yeah. There is so much dialogue there. My God. All right. So, yeah, that's actually a perfect place to talk about this. God, do you want to talk about like how we have to route around time of day stuff in MM Rando? Yeah. So, yeah, fun thing about MMR is you've got the, the time cycle to kind of keep mind of. So, you know, there, again, like I said before, there's stuff that can go away if you reset time. So you've got to keep mind of that. There's things like that where you might just be in the wrong spot at the wrong time. Um, you can also find stuff too late in the cycle and have to go back Excuse and get me? it. Oh. <laughs> it's Dog, like, get out the door. <laughs> All right, thank you. If we find Cafe's letter after noon on day two, it'll be too late to use it. Um, it would be good to give to Toilet Hand, but with these settings, Toilet Hand is just a junk check. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's in general. Let's also talk a little bit about the Blitz settings. Yeah. And uh, yeah, uh, Fant, you want to talk a little bit about it? Yeah, so you may have heard at the start, you know, all of the remaining remains, the remaining dungeons to complete. We're starting off in Blitz settings with one of the four dungeons completed. This one, uh, good friend George, Gyorg, however you pronounce it, uh, you know, has, been, has been essentially auto-completed. So that means everything associated with that temple and stuff locked after that temple are things that we know we're not going to have to do. Now, leading up to it, all of that could be stuff. And this is in addition to a couple other things, you know, help speed things along, make it so we're, we're not here all nights. Yeah. I think we're, we're going to get some Odyssey coming up, so make sure you get your donation for that. Yes, mm -hmm. please. Uh, Odyssey, <laughs> make yeah. it happen. Right, Odyssey. But a lot of the uh, the really long quest chains, because Majora's Mask is a game all about, you know, very long side <laughs> 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 All right, we're got him. All right, that. on the yeah. way into Swordsman <laughs> School. All right, this is actually a little bit unfortunate, because as soon as you complete this, it takes you automatically to North Clock Town. But by getting that, it's going to have to go back down there later, or right now, whatever you Yeah, I'm going to go right back there. I was doing a pivot on the routing, because I want to actually, because my bank, my wallet is full, I want to also work towards a bank check, yeah. which is if you put $200 in there. So since I have the 99, I want to drop that off, and it'll make the routing of that check a little bit easier. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Now we're heading yes. back over there. <laughs> a little, little aside. Let's try this again. Uh, a couple of the longer side quests, so you all may remember like the couple's mask quest chain, the Goron Ray. So really, really long, lengthy stuff like that uh, has been turned off. It's a very highly customizable randomizer, so you can kind of like tune it however you want. Uh, another additional thing, you know, as we're uh, just jump slashing 10 logs here to get a check from the swordsman, you may have noticed earlier on there was this uh, gilded chest, kind of had this like gold outline on it. You may have not remembered that. It's like, oh, I thought this was a regular brown chest. That You would be correct, because we have a setting on here called chest size matches contents. And what that means is if you see a chest with a gold border, that is something that could be important. So a unique item, a mask, a heart container, uh, something useful or something that could lead to something else. Whereas a chest with a brown border will be, you know, an ammo refill or something like that. So if we see something gold, that means we can get excited and it may be something good. Yo, frog chain. My man, Froggy. <laughs> <laughs> Big the cat lost him again. All right, nice. Okay, we got him for him. He just did that like 45 minutes ago. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and I want to bring attention to this. Spike's going to do this uh, trick with the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's going to big throw me off yeah. on this game. We need uh, a... Yeah. <laughs> 
That's so funny, dude. <laughs> Bam. Ah, yeah. first nice. side. Nice. Spike was counting the triangles from Vanilla. the Z target as it was rotating around. It was on the 19th <laughs> rotation. Due to hit it, get the 10 seconds. Good. I, I couldn't do that with this background. So. That's so funny. It was like, oh, this is a good time to clap. Let's do yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's bring the hype. Dude, by the way, there is there will never be a more hype run in GDQ history than any time Big the Hat is on. Big the Hat. Big, Big the, the Hat. hat. <laughs> Dude, why was it Big the Cat and Cat in the Hat a block this marathon? <laughs> There was an opportunity, Games Committee. We could have made it happen. We talked crap to someone about it backstage. Uh, All one, right. one thing you'll notice real quick. With the bank, it's been sped up significantly in Randomizer. You can also just press the R trigger, and it'll automatically fill the max amount of rupees you can deposit. Really nice quality of life update that just expedites the experience just a little bit. There's a lot of really good quality of life stuff at a 10 MMR that's been in yep. throughout the years. It's really nice to play. Oh, there's a, oh I could have put as We'll do that later. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're talking about that, Gotham. You want to talk a little bit about like how nice the D-pad's going to be as we go along? Or yes. there. Yeah, so MMR has a D-pad with Ocarina and then the three transformation masks, which is like a game changer. Mm -hmm. You can we already see the Ocarina there on D-pad down. That's a gilded gold. Yep. Nice. So that was a what is known as a C-up peak. It allows you, if you press C-up during a roll, it allows you to look through walls, and it allows you to look at chests that would otherwise be out of sight. So we can tell if we need to go back for that one, which we do, because it had a gold outline. And uh, this here, we're going towards the observatory, of course. Uh, this is mostly done early on to set up a scrub that comes into Termina Field in a grotto. And it just routes really nicely as you're doing a loop through Termina Field. So we just go and do this now. Yeah, it's nice anytime you can also, you saw right there, going into night one, anytime you can be somewhere where a transition either has no cutscene whatsoever or just a shorter one, that's really good for routing. Yep. Because if you're just kind of out in the open, a lot of times you get a nice long cutscene. We want to avoid those as much as possible because this is a randomizer, but it's also a speed run. We have tournaments around this and such. Yep. Also, I want to give a shout out at this moment to uh, my good friends Dat Lawsett and Sound Defense and just the Majora's Mask randomizer community in general. If you're listening keenly, this is not Majora's Mask <laughs> music. This is actually a bunch of randomized stuff that people have created stuff for in order to put it into Majora's Mask from various other games. And they actually made what we're calling a plandode file where every area has a very specific track that fits yeah. really well with each area. And they made a lot of beautiful choices. Yeah, like this one. This is the Outer Wilds main theme. It's such a nice track. And I, I love it for Observatory. It's so mm. fitting. There's hundreds of MMR songs now. It's really cool. There's a big mega folder and you can either download them all and get surprised or just go through and pick stuff you like. Yep. And then it's just another far fun part of the randomizer because you just Whoa. go into a different area and you're like, oh, it's this song, cool. And <laughs> then you want to check another spot just so you can hear the song. Yeah, I do want to mention one thing. You may have saw Spike talk to the Gossip Stone right there, and it said the Romani Ranch is foolish. This is another thing um, that is customizable, and with Blitz, we have a variety of hints that you can go talk to those hint stones to find out what those are. And a foolish... Uh, hint means that this entire area that is listed does not contain anything in like the logical progression needed to complete the game. Yeah. And so we got a ranch foolish. Uh, ranch is a very good foolish to get because um, without Goron, ranch is kind of annoying to go all the way to the back and do those checks. Um, and it also has a song, which if we know we can skip that song, we can definitely narrow down uh, what where the required songs are going to be. Yeah, it only automatically eliminates at least one check in my head yeah. that off of that can't be anything. What's up, Giant's Mask? Giant's I'm not going to use that. <laughs> yeah, Giant's Mask. Uh, when you get good at this game, you start to realize that Giant's Mask kind of sucks. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, usually we use, if we have it, we'll use FD. If not, we'll just snipe Twimble with arrows. I'm a little bit sad we're not going to Sir Rum Monty Ranch. I was really pulling for the lemons. I was hoping for dog race, dude. All dude. <laughs> dude hoping... Maybe if we need some more time for that Odyssey run to get met, maybe we'll have to just go do lemons anyway. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. So, go ahead. This is a specific deposit here to make sure you're over 101 rupees uh, because you can only deposit 99 at a time, and your wallet is going to be filled in very short time. So, yes. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of routes in nicely over here. So now we're going to come over to the Dodongos. This is really the first combat sequence of the run. Uh, if I am able to kind of find a good wedging behind their leg, I can get six hits off. Well, oh, that's, a, that's a good I, one. <laughs> I hope that's not a bomb. I hope that ain't bomb bag number one. That'd be yeah. terrible. <laughs> Luckily, there are three bomb bags in the game, so hopefully that's not the first one. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to try to activate one, just give a little kiss on the nose. Be like, yo, what's up? Boop. 
and then make sure that one activates, and then I'm gonna try to get back here. Just mash. Ooh. All right, we're gonna switch over on the other one. Flawless. Let's go. There's one of them. <laughs> All right, then what we're going to do for this guy, one little backup, we're going to give him one and two, and then he's dead. All, All right. right. Okay. Basically nail him. Well Didn't die. Because, yeah. yeah, they're pretty scary to do early on with no sword upgrades, no bombs mm -hmm. or anything. Yeah. I'm even going to get this because there's a really funny mechanic that a lot of people probably don't know. <laughs> okay, that's great. In OOT and Majora's Mask, a lot of people probably don't know this, that um, when you have one or less health, you do not walk straight. Yep. It's something called Crit Wiggle, which is very annoying to deal with. It's a lot worse in MM than OOT, but in both games, it's undesirable. So very good to have, you know, at least a little bit of health and the heal from the chest there. Isn't that turned off by default? Um, not in these settings. No. Oh, right. settings, oh we please don't tell me they are. I haven't yeah. just been trying to <laughs> nope, fill up for no. my mistakes. They are 100% on. Don't you worry. All right. Um, I guess. Let's weigh the hero. Yeah, yeah so weigh the free. hero. Uh, sorry. Uh, so weigh the hero is like the opposite of foolish. That means this area contains something that is on the logical path to complete the seed. Yeah, I think this is a good time to start talking about logic. Yes. Um, a randomizer typically differs from a traditional speedrun in a couple of ways. There's a couple different pillars, I think, that really work to make a good randomizer player. Those being logic reading, on-the-fly routing, and just general execution, like your yeah. chops of the game. Uh, logic is just defined as the rules that the randomizer uses to place certain items. What did you get my notes? Yeah, you just booped you there. <laughs> by the up, way, dog? you can climb that, by the way. You can climb that? You can climb that. There's a check up here, bro. <laughs> but yeah, so essentially logic is the rule set for how items are placed. So this is using glitchless logic for the most part. So it's not going to lock your first bow behind, you know, an archery game or something like that. Um, and it's very useful because we can use logic oh, yeah. to use process of elimination and rule out where checks can and cannot be. Um, a good example of what uh, an out-of-logic thing would be is the first thing Spike did was to get on that straw roof. Yes. You need a couple different items, either Hookshot or Deku and a couple of things. But to just do that trick is not expected by the randomizer. So we know that's not going to be like your yeah. first your Hookshot or something like that. Which is like, it's awesome that logic is in play, that you can actually play that mind game a little bit of what does the seed want me to do? And yeah. sometimes the correct play is don't do the thing the seed wants you to do. True. Yeah. And so this is the Gossip Grotto. We get four hints here. South Clock Town, Way of the Hero. Captain's Hat, yeah, yeah, probably. Stone Tower. We're nice. doing it. All right. West and Clock, whoa. West Why am I getting all this money from the bank? Oh, <laughs> well, we're also getting so many, so much money from our generous donors. Yo, yeah. let's hear yeah. it. Awesome. $70,000 out of the 100000 Let's go. Okay, Only 30000 left, in. guys. That's so doable by the end of this Char Bunny, I'm giving you like two minutes. Just rattle off some donations for me. Odyssey, come on. Let's make it happen. Oh, you've got it. We have $500 from Edward23, who's kind of wishing you early progress. Progression, hoping for last locations. Thank you so much. We have fifty dollars from not your average tenor who says we need that Mario run. Crowd, do you need that Mario run too? We also have twenty-five dollars from Remy who says yes, Chef. Let's get that donation train for some Super Mario Odyssey going, Chef. All aboard, Chef. Thank you so much, Chef Remy. And again, once we meet that incentive, if we can go further. We can unlock the chef outfit in Super Mario Odyssey. That thing is adorable. Oh. It's very thematic for the event. That'll be in Luncheon Kingdom. We've got to unlock the bonus game first. No bonus game, no chef outfit. We have to make this happen. I can't believe I didn't talk to Jim there. Give me like two more donations. I'm going to go find a pea hat. It's like a big pineapple. It's great. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. I hope you know what you're doing. $25 from Gare Bear who says, I had to donate for the first Zelda game I ever played, Majora's Mask. So take my rupees and let's reach that incentive for Super Mario Odyssey. We also have $120 from Tingle with a star after it, who says, Kalulipa, Tingle the fairy here, and I can't mask my excitement for this run. For each mask collected, I'll donate an extra $5 towards Super Mario Odyssey. Ooh. Who will join me in this freshly picked Tingle's rosy donation spree? Thank you, fellow heroes. Give me one more while we're getting over there. DP Way of the Hero, let's go. DP Way of the Hero, yo, shouts to use pizza, let's go. Dr. Pepper. Dr. Right. Yeah, also that. <laughs> I'll keep this last one short and sweet. We have a no comment donation from Anonymous for $1,000. Woo! Woo! Thank you so Woo! much, Anonymous. That's a lot of money. Thank you so much.
God, Anonymous is so rich. I've noticed that over the years. All right, so let's go ahead and make it day two. Yeah. So right from the start, you also have access, I mean, as you would in the vanilla game as well, to uh, Song of Double Time and the uh, Inverted Song of Time. Inverted being able to slow time down to where you get like triple the amount of time as you're going through, which can be good for trying to go for a specific check. I'm not pressing buttons. Um, and then the Song of Double Time so I can just move it to a later point in the cycle. Yeah, so this here, the P hat only awakes during the daytime, so that's why we made it day two there. And you can just kind of stun lock it with the bow like that, very easy. Cool, yeah. And that's nice, because like if that chest isn't really? anything I want, because as Fant mentioned, if it is not the gold trim on it, that means it could have like health, money, that sort of stuff, but it's nothing that I need to progress the seed forward. Exactly. So to save time, we're good. No, wah, wah. no, no, no dog race. No dog race. Wah, wah. We already knew that, because Ranch was yeah, foolish, exactly. but still, it ain't any less sad. I can't watch the blue dog come in probably last place again. Oh, man, you don't want to get me started. Don't get me started on blue dog, man. I'm going to go off. <laughs> that sounds like a gambler. It's like, man, the amount of money I have lost on that dog. Yeah, I guess just kind of going back to the idea I was talking about earlier, there's a bunch of different skill sets that come into Randomizer, and you need to be good at all of them. It's not just like, you can't just be super good at the game vanilla, but not know anything about Rando. I've got a wallet. Might as well take yeah, that. Yeah, let's take that. Yep. Um, but there is, you know, there is balance to it. Like, a well-execution runner can definitely catch up on execution, whereas others might excel in logic reading and stuff like that. So a lot of different components come into it that make it different. Oh, yeah. oh nice. That's a, We're just gonna do that. Uh-huh. Okay. Very nice hint to have. Yeah. Yeah, so we, uh, we're gonna do a series of a couple mini games in a row. Um, I need to be on opponent for this. We have exactly the amount of cash to be able to buy that wallet and play this mini game. So that 50 bucks we got off the bank, that was pretty cool. I like that. The so wallet's good too, because Goron Village was way the hero, wasn't it? It yeah. is. Yeah, so that's the big bomb bag purchase. Boop. It's 200. Boop. Can we see the thing? All right. Oh, yeah. Yeehaw! Oh, yeehaw! Oh, no. All right, while we're getting our yeehaws on, it's time for our first real mini game. Let's hit it up with more, some more donations. Char Bunny, if you got any. Super Mario Odyssey, let's make it happen. All right, yeehaw from over here as well. We have $5 from Brantian who says, let's meet that Mario Odyssey incentive chefs. Choo choo. And we have $5 from Renvier who says, $5 hype train for some SMO. Let's go. And thank you so much, everyone. We're now at $74,000 out of that $100,000 that we need. Yeah. We are making oh, progress. Getting there. Please keep assigning your donations to that incentive. It is fantastic to see all the support coming in for this. We also have $25 from Skybills, who says, Yay. Hey, y'all, host of GDQ's Hotfix Random Number Generation, Skybills here. <laughs> <laughs> Spike, I am so proud of all the hard work and love you've given to Majora's Mask Rando. Shout out to Fanta Char for being awesome friends and making this run extra memorable. Hey, chat, what is Chef Link's favorite spice? Deku Nutmeg. I <laughs> think <laughs> <laughs> one for myself, other blues, and our community. Oh, that's a lot of Whoa, blues. That was, a, that was so many blues. <laughs> that was intense. You were like, I'm leaving. <laughs> so, I'm done with this show. Okay. Hey, nice double defense. That was yeah, good. Yep. That there, double defense is really nice for Blitz. Um, what can happen often, you can get a really fast seed and you don't end up getting a lot of health. So double defense is really nice to just make sure that you're not going to die later on in the game. Yeah, people always say, like, I've heard competitively, I remember Dat talking about it specifically, that if you get to, like, six heart pieces in this randomizer, you probably lost. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> that's how quickly these can move sometimes. Exactly. Zora yeah. Mask, funny enough, could be skippable. I think those were bomb shoes up there. I, I could will, not tell. Your eyes are better than mine. Yeah, it, was, it looked like blue with a little bit of white underneath. I was looking at the item that's up in the tree, normally a piece of heart. I believe a piece of hearts over there. I don't yeah. Know. You just kind of eyeball it. Um, yeah, Zora Mask generally considered in Blitz, at least, to be the weakest of oh, speed. Yes! Oh, let's, let's go! Yes, oh my, my man! Let's go! Big roller. If only he could wear the frog suit, I'd be cosplaying as the Sonic Adventure character. That'd be great. Wow, right. Road to Southern Swamp has both. <laughs> yeah. Like Zora wow. and Ron, holy crap. We got a lot of unfulfilled ways of the hero with a lot of items. Yeah, this is a uh, pretty good, which like generally might mean like as soon as I can push some way of the hero locations, I might be doing that here pretty soon. Yeah, so the, sw the swamp archery here, you can just pick up money outside in those pots. It's always enough to, to make it through, but mm -hmm. I'm just going to be uh, taking out a lot of enemies uh, to get, like as soon as we get them all, you know, the timer will go and we'll get the Zora mask that we know. And this would probably be a pretty good time for a couple more of those donations and get us closer to Super Mario Odyssey. We are getting closer. We're now at $78,000. Oh my God. Wow. It is flying that over is here, everyone. Thank you so much. 
We have $50 from Deuces Mongooses who says, I ordered more GDQ, chef. That requires Super Mario, Od Super Mario Odyssey. Yes, chef. Yes, indeed, chef. Thank you so much for your contribution. We also have $25 from Kai Ram who says, donating for the Mario run. We ought to see the run tonight. You could say we're entering the dangers zone. <laughs> and then they straight up have the emoticon of the person putting on the sunglasses. <laughs> they say, let's it go. Thank you so much for that $25. Time for a few more, or are you going to get Give me two more. Two more, you got it. We have $25 from TechSide, who says, Spike is one of the best entertainers I know, and he's helped me make one of the coolest, most welcoming communities out there. I'm so happy to be part of that community. May the seed be kind, and let's unlock Super Mario Odyssey. Let's do it, gamers. <laughs> that was like in the time we rolled like five feet. We gained five thousand more dollars. That's Ooh, great. I wow. love it. Sora mask. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> well, who would have thought that there? Wow. Someone looked at the spoiler log beforehand. I'm just kidding. It was hints. Okay, <laughs> into Goron. Rolling. So yeah, I was saying earlier, Zora Mask is generally considered to be the weakest of the three transformation masks for Blitz, mostly because it only unlocks checks and not so much a song. Goron, you get the song from Goron Village, and Deku gets you two songs in this game. Also, oh, Tingle. <laughs> the Tingle Bob. I'm trying to like hero shot it and then roll up to him. The Tingle's just got the reeds. Yeah. <laughs> He's on the set pattern. <laughs> uh, what do we got? Peace heart, peace heart, thank you. Nada. Yeah, Goron obviously really good. The fastest way to move around normally. So you're just rolling everywhere now, which is super nice. Don't have to backwalk everywhere. You could say you're rolling around at the speed of sound. What? Uh, no way. I wanted one dude in the back be like, I got that. <laughs> Oh. oh my god, yeah, that was a really niche joke. <laughs> <laughs> there's a, I, I don't need this piece of art, but this is a cool trick, so I'm just going to show it to you. And there's a lot of cool Yeah, cool tricks. Turn around, hold down, A, and boom, and bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> huh. the That's right, Gorons are cool. You bet. Let's also come down here and just get this yeah, trip check right real quick. Well. I'll so. go sh shout out to the Donkey Kong music here. It's Dude. real good. <laughs> Very fitting. Oh, now we're rolling deep <laughs> along with it. I have twenty dollars here from Ness, who says rolling deep. Rolling deep. <laughs> there you go. Oh, another big chest. You shouldn't have game. What's in here? Uh. Okay. You know what? We'll take a little bit of health. That's fine. so. The reason why heart containers are in big gilded chests is because there's certain logic rules where you can have, you know, an amount of health required to do certain tricks. So just to keep it accessible, yeah, they're all yeah. in. And there's only, you know, unlike like OT oh, where there's been, well, like nine or 10 heart containers, there's only four here, so. Yeah. Four for each of the So Spike is gonna be going over to Southern Swamp right now into Woods of Mystery. There is a grotto in the Woods of Mystery that is only accessible on day two, which is why we read it around doing this now. So, um, yeah, this grotto, you couldn't do it on day one or three. This is also a really cool trick, by the way. If you get the witch to render on the screen, even for a little bit, and then don't look at her while you cross, cross here, you skip a 15-second cutscene where she goes into the woods. So that was a nice little time save with that backwalk. Yeah, it's actually a massive time save over just rolling into it. I swear that cutscene takes forever. Too long. We are less than $20,000 away from oh the $100,000. Yes. You guys are doing so good. Keep it up. We're everyone. just about to hit Mario Odyssey. Let's do it. Obviously nice to get to go through this sequence with like Goron Mass. Really any sequence in the game with Goron. Yep. Might have seen in the interview earlier, which was up in our hotel room. It was great. Uh, that, uh, yeah, Goron was like the thing I wanted to make sure we got early on. And I, my wishes were granted. It's awesome. There you go. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't have a bottle unless you pick one up, and I didn't realize it spike. Nah, I have uh, no bottles. Um, so we are like orphaning one check uh, related to rescuing uh, Kolme here, but you know, hopefully it's nothing, right? We'll be yeah. fine. We'll she can be lay fine. there for a couple we'll days, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We'll, we'll be back maybe eventually, or maybe not. We'll see. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, so there's a couple different spots I can push right now. I could go over to the graveyard and just get whatever that song is, and that might be a decent play, and then go north. Because uh, we do have a Goron Village, which is up north in, like, the Snowhead area. That's also Way of the Hero. Potentially hold out if I can find, like, a bomb bag or something. But yeah. I want to see if I can find... Songs are very powerful. There's only five of them left in the game that I don't have hinted to me, so... Yep. And so to explain why songs are so important is that, that for oh, every gosh. dungeon you have to do in the game, you required, you're required to get a song for that dungeon. So songs basically are your dungeon access and that's, you know, that's how you beat the game. So 
Song items are very important. Be between... something, be something. Be... Ah, no. <laughs> you wanted to show off the cheese. I, want... <laughs> I, I wanted to show off me failing this for an oh, hour. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, six hundred thousand dollars! Hey! Oh no, Char Bunny, you say that. I stole your thunder. You say it. You say it. No, you've got a great voice, man. Do it again. Do it again. Six hundred thousand dollars! Thank you so much, everyone, for donating six hundred thousand dollars to Doctors Without Borders so far this event. Let's keep it rolling. Thank you again. Yeah, Char Bunny, this is another one of those awesome mini games. Like uh, outside yeah. of, um, <laughs> we're, we're gonna, Spike's going to be shooting a couple of these blue ones to get the time as low as possible, so we're not waiting around too long. But outside of that. Uh, if you got a couple more donations. Yeah, one minute. Oh, I absolutely do. We have $2,000. Woo! Woo! This is coming in from Dance Gaming, who says this was one of my favorite games as a kid. It's so exciting to see it speed ran tonight. Thank you so much. We also have $50 from James Big Mac, who says, I can't believe that Mario Odyssey isn't confirmed yet. Let's get that on the schedule. We keep getting closer, less than $19,000 to go. We are moving on that incentive. Please, please keep selecting that incentive when you make your donations. We also have $100 from the Sound Defense, who says, Oh, my man. Greetings from the crowd. It's awesome to hear the custom music of the MMR community being played on the GDQ stage. Best of luck with the run. Also, Sound Defense, see me after the run. I need to get that gluten-free pasta off you. Thanks, bud. The, the second part of the donation says, Also, I have your spaghetti and you can pick it up. Thank you. <laughs> my man, let's go. We also have $5.55 from Happy Mask Donator, who says, you've met with a charitable fate, haven't you? <laughs> Let's have Spike and Couch pick an item that triggers a $5 donation train. What do you all think? What item, when you find it, should chat start a $5 donation train for? Ooh. Ooh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. I've got one, if, if any, unless y'all have yeah, an idea. Let's hear it. Well. Let's hear it. No, we've got to complete the family. we got to get my man, the Deku mask. That's what I was yeah. going to say. Yeah. Into the family. Come on, let's make it happen. If we can I find the last transformation, <laughs> he's adorable. He's cute. He sticks, he, he goes into flowers and stuff. It's cool. When we get that $5 donation train, and let's get that Odyssey run met. Yeah, I want to see the Odyssey run Mets. I want to see that chef outfit too. So let's let's just blaze right it. past it. Yep. Within twenty thousand dollars, that is so achievable, guys. Got to get your donations in to Doctors Without Borders. Hey, yes. there's a ball bag. Yo, boomy time. And there is that chest we saw earlier. It's true. Yeah. Gotta press the button. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shout out to GDQ also having these amazing layouts for the randomizers now in the blow. You can be like, I don't know what any of those are, but that's really cool. The lights are ticking up. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do want to make one note on that. Uh, so every single item that's possible to go into your inventory isn't in there. It's just like the, the big important ones, the critical ones that unlock the most stuff. Yeah. Also, another thing related to Blitz setting, you may have saw, you know, we're riding a Poda right now. We've never been over to Romani Ranch or gotten any song check locations. Uh, but this is one other aspect. We start with Song of Time, opponent song, and Song of Soaring, just to make it uh, a little bit more fun, the, op the opening, uh, more options to go to, that kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, so Epona walks two of the four regions in the game, and if you don't start with Epona, then your seeds can get like horrifically bottlenecked behind finding that yeah. song, and it's not a lot of fun. So just to make the seed more open from the beginning, you know? Right. So we're going to Graveyard now. Graveyard is one of the song locations. Uh, with the Captain's Hat, we can do basically all the checks here and the bomb bag, so... Um, the only thing that might be questionable here is this chest. This is the Kita chest, which you need a Sonata of Awakening for. Oh, uh, it is no. trip, so. It's a big old chunky boy. Yeah, so we'll I have to work remember that. that. But uh, it could happen that we find Sonata here in Graveyard, and then we can just do this all in one trip, which would be nice. But yeah, secret little grotto here. <laughs> Not so secret little rock jumping into my hands. Nice that rock good. in particular. All right. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to song a double time it back down to night two. So everything I want is actually on the night one side. Um, there's actually a couple little jumps that you can use that are effectively glitchless tricks. Mm -hmm. And uh, video, I'll let you explain. I'm going to do yeah. the bomb jump. Sure. Just how cool yeah. is it? Okay, so um, for the most part, the rule set for this randomizer is glitchless, but we do allow a couple of tricks known as a long jump and recoil flips. They're two bomb tricks that don't really do much to like change the way you approach the game, but you can do stuff faster. And it allows you to do stuff like skip across from one side of the graves to the other, so you can do everything in one trip. Um, I think the most equivalent like speedrun category for this rule set will be Bug Limit, which is kind of glitchless plus in a way. So that's uh, that's kind of what we run with. So you'll see it in just a sec. You'll see Spike fly across the screen with a little bomb trick that'll do. 
Yeah, this is a very, very, very accessible trick yeah. that anybody at home can do. I want you to place a bomb. I want you to get to the edge of the screen or, or the edge of the platform or whatever. And then boom, and blast you and we, you just blast across. Yeah. That is, uh, I promise you, everyone in the audience can do that. It is as free as it looks. And I may be using that in many different oh. positions. I missed. <laughs> <laughs> missed again. Oh fire, goodness. come on. <laughs> I think you just had a damn stick there. They had me put the stick down. Yeah, <laughs> those are some real bad bats there. Yeah, not keys. They're they bad keys. bats. There are actually two bat enemies in this game, and these are one of them, and keys being the other. They both show up. Yeah, so unfortunately, this is one of the many checks in the game that is just awful to do. <laughs> I should be, like, doing quick spins with magic. Instead, we're just kind of hoping they... Jump on top of me. Yeah, I feel like Nintendo was like, yeah, we got like four extra megabytes of RAM in this expansion pack. Let's load it up with enemies. Let's just put a bunch of bats in just order. Just bats. <laughs> but yeah, so we're coming up on the song check here. And this song, depending on what it is, can have a lot of implications on what the next progression in the seed is going to be. We'll see. Uh, we are looking, the three songs that we need in this seed are Sonata of Awakening, uh, Goron Lullaby, and Elegy of Emptiness. That's what we're looking for. They'll be green, orange, and red are the song colors that we're looking for. So shout out to the Wario Land 4 Hurry Up music. Yes. Fitting. Ooh. Ooh. This song can also be Final Hours, so... Um, like was explained earlier, this music is plandoed, so someone, uh, dad, made like the songs in specific spots. But how MMR music normally works is there's categories, so each song will only go in a specific area. Like some are just overworld music, some are just boss fights, some are just final hours, yep. uh, etc. It's so you don't get something like super annoying in right. the field or that whatever. Way. That's good because you need to go to Stone Tower, so mm -hmm. right on. Yep. And so, oh, you know what? There's a, we, have, we have a lot of items. I'm going to show one trick. This will take like 15 let's seconds. It. Let's see it. Yeah, this is another actually very accessible trick. If you're ever down here, you don't have the lens truth. We actually have the lens truth, but we don't have magic. Big sad for us. However, oh, give me that heart. I would love that. Because then I'm just going to warp away anyway. anyways. Yes. This is, I think, one of the coolest tricks you can first learn. Yeah, anyone could do this one. Right. Yeah. Which, no. Another one of these. We Nice. And we get some free money out of it, yay. Trick tutorial with Spike, let's go. Yeah, so here we're gonna walk into this door. I'm gonna be Goron, I'm going to hold down A, so I'm already doing this, and I'm just gonna hold left. Boom, and what happened back there is there was about 700 gaps we just rolled over. <laughs> it was sick, you should donate for that. Sure, <laughs> buddy, yeah. Let's hear him. Absolutely, we have $50 from Derpy Dragon 15 who says, why did Chef Link have to save Termina? because he was running out of time. Oh. oh. <laughs> Good luck on the run, Spike, and let's get to Odyssey. We're still climbing on that one. Just over $15,000 to go. It is getting so much closer. Please make sure you're selecting that incentive. When you donate, we need to make that happen. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hmm, let's there's, so yeah, here at the Fairy Fountain, there's actually two checks. There's one you get as a human, and then one that you get as just any of the transformations. I hadn't done this yet, and uh, yeah, so this might have something cool. It didn't, but you know, heart, <laughs> health. Health is always cool, yeah. Again, you feel a lot less stressed about health, like combat situations, as soon as you have double defense, because then yeah. it just feels like you have a million health compared to what you normally have. Yeah, exactly. All right, so we're going to be going to the north now. This has Goron Village, which is another song location, and it's also hinted Way of the Hero. Um, going back to like talking about routing and stuff, this routing worked out really well because Spike got a bomb bag on the way to Graveyard. There are a lot of explosive lock checks in the north, so now that we have a bomb bag, we can essentially just full clear it in one yeah. go, and it's going to be very, very nice, very efficient. Yeah, um, Goron Village got the Lens Cave. You know, it's got three chests in it, which is yeah. pretty dense for this point in the game. So, yeah, hopefully gonna have something good, if not just the song. Check one more hint stone here. We yeah. got. We already have our five Way of the Heroes, which there's gonna be a set amount of each of those. By the way, Goron backflipping here, actually good. Because yeah. it's all like super tiny little ledges. I didn't know he could do that, that's sick. Um, but yeah, one of our five Way of the Heroes here be in that Goron Village, so we have a good chance of being able to hit on whatever that Way of the Hero is, including one of the songs that are remaining. Off we go. And then we also have an area in between we call Twin Islands. It doesn't have an official name in the game, but it's just gum known as Twin Islands. And that has a couple checks, too. One that we're going to be able to get right now. Uh, 
the snow. The <laughs> north is so laggy. Oh, do I have the light start? Uh, there you go. There, yeah, now we're revving up. Unfortunately, we do not have magic yet, so Goron can't do the full roll-up with all the cool spikes and everything. Yeah. So Wait. I do want Deku, but I kind of want magic a little more, but, you yeah. know, it's fine. Wait, Spike, did you just say we're revving up? <laughs> Yo, I know what that yeah. do. <laughs> Some, someone, let's shout out Revan. My yeah, good, Revan. Our good friend, and he came up with this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, fan? Anyone, please. Anyone. Someone talk. Okay. It's getting awkward, sure. please. Okay, so Revan is a longtime community member in the Majora's Mask randomizer community. He is the one who came up with the blitz setting string. So basically, carefully meticulated, put together all the different checks that were on and off, and I think Revan nailed it, like, basically immediately. Like, he got it basically completely right. Um, the only thing I think that changed, really, was that when Blitz started, it was random between one and three remains that you would get. And the community figured out really early on that, at least for racing, one remain is the, the best balance in terms of how you play. Yeah. Yeah. It makes sure you have to go to enough of the different areas in the game to find your stuff. You're not mm -hmm. just going to happen into, like, your four items to be able to be able to... That's oh, vanilla. Yeah, that's yeah, that's... So we only need one more song at this point. It's just Sonata, which is really nice. We could just get that when we have Deku. Yeah, so we are still missing Sonata. That's the only song we still need, which mm -hmm. very potentially could be over in Deku Palace, like you're saying. We've got a 66% chance that, De that uh, Deku will give us our last song. Yep. And from there, we just need we need Deku, we need Hookshot, we need Magic, we need Fire Arrows, and we need Light Arrows. We're down to, like, five things from Go Mode. It could be anywhere. Let's find out. It could be anywhere. We need Oath, too, but Oath, in these settings, Oath is just in the vanilla spot, so you would get Oath after you complete any dungeon. It doesn't have to be the first one. Yep. And so the reason we do that for Blitz is that if it wasn't Oath on that dungeon song, then you could logically be expected to go through your foolish dungeon and get a song and use that elsewhere in the seed. So just to avoid that, it's easiest to put Oath on the vanilla spot. I thought about just pushing it to day three. I have day three memorized. I do not have day two. Aww. So we're going to look at the feathers. Uh -huh. That's all good. I'll so, give the owl something to do. It's all good. Yeah, he was just waiting. Mm -hmm. It'd be kind of rude to not, yeah. you know, just walk past. Like, dude, this is my one moment. Don't ruin <laughs> this for me. He's like, I want to be a GDQ too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, please. Don't look like you're having fun. <laughs> All right, peace out, brother. All right, Hype Cave. This, this is how Hype few checks are in this game. Three checks is Hype Cave. Let's see. <laughs> we already got a Gilded one right here. Could it be Magic? Could it be Deku? Could it be Hookshot? It's, it's the bottle number one. Oh. Woo! That is... All right, uh, the, the bottle checks will be hard to get to now. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. So in Blitz, you really just need one bottle. One yeah. bottle is all you really care about. Uh, once then, once you have that, the other bottles don't really matter that much. Do I want to go over to the... I mean, I could go west. So west has a lot of stuff. I'd like to bring Hookshot over there. Yeah. Yeah, I but... think that's what we're going to do. All right. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. So the West. Uh, in you this, don't like that play. You want. I you don't. Want yeah. I think the West and Blitz kind of sucks. But yeah. <laughs> right now it's pretty dense. You've got Pirate's Fortress that you can basically you can almost full clear it. It's a lot of checks. That's your densest location by far. So. Yeah, we can't quite get into a Snowhead Temple without magic. We actually can, but like it's very not it's intended not in logic. Worth it. Yeah. And yeah. you're you're never gonna find magic up there. That's kind of the point of logic. So. And that being one of, like, the five things we're still looking for. What's up, Bloopy? Oh, it landed on the lily pad. Yeah. <laughs> <Good luck. laughs> That's well, actually good, yeah. yeah. That's an RNG thing. Um, so another fun thing about MMR, um, if you're, like, interested in glitches, but full glitch logic seems kind of crazy, um, shout out to Guppy. He made uh, what we call the trick list. Mm -hmm. So you can go, I think there's, like, 50 tricks or something. Oh, wow. um, you can go through and individually select, oh, I want to do, like, this trick. Like yeah. the one uh, Spike showed off at the beginning where you jump slash through the roof to mm -hmm. get to that first chest. That's a trick you can turn on. So the game can just expect you to do that with only the sword. Yep. It's really fun. It's really customizable. All right, we're getting to fish here. And this is for uh, the lab fish. So you might be familiar if you know this game. Uh, the lab fish, you're supposed to feed it, I think it's between four and seven fish, and it grows bigger and then eats the other one. Randomizer has done a quality of life speed up, so you only need to feed it one. 
Yeah, this is my personal like favorite check in the game. It's just it's, so funny. Yeah. It's Every so weird. Time. It's your favorite. Like, yeah. If I could describe a Jorah's Mask in one check and how weird it is, it is yeah. this check right Actually, here. Actually, yeah, this does kind of encapsulate. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious what, what everybody else's favorite check of the game is. Uh, I like Gossip Stones. It's not on in these settings. So in place of that, I have Clifford for Blitz settings. <laughs> my oh, man. <laughs> oh, my favorite one? I'm not sure. Hmm. Gothic plays with everything turned on, yes. like the rupee sanity and stuff. Like it's it's wild. Yeah, this play. this randomizer has rupee sanity. Um, any static drops are shuffled essentially. So like the jars by the owl statues that have magic and bombs and stuff, those can all be shuffled. Um, there's invisible rupees that you have to find. Um, there's like screenshots and stuff you can look at to help. There's also a setting you can turn on where the invisible rupees all sparkle. So if you're interested in that, you can like see them and you don't have to think as Yo, much. Spike, but... beer me the controller real quick. I got some buttons to press. No! <laughs> you can, if you try to talk to the fish right here as you drop it in, big old soft lock, it's great. Yeah. So you want it hands off the controller when you're doing this check. <laughs> this check and that, is yeah. so good. This. That's terrifying. <laughs> Ooh! Oh, it's, those. That fish was made yes. of light arrows. All right. Not going to lie, that's kind of weird, but all right. <laughs> Um, with that, let's go. You know what? We're just going to make our way over here. Let's go to Pinnacle Rock. Yeah. I'm going to know just, I'm going to have memorized the path here. Normally, the game wants you to go get the seahorse mm -hmm. and uh, have it kind of lead you through it. But I'm just going to know where to go. Uh, with that, uh, while I'm getting these two checks, Charbunny, hit me up on some more donations. I know the last time we checked in, we were at $80,000. How close are we to that? One fifteen. Oh, Oh, we're now at $88,000. Oh, less than $12,000 to go. We are getting so close, but... It's the next run after this, team. We gotta make this happen now. And helping us out is Eric and Wesley, who donate $25 and say, my nine-year-old son and I watch GDQ every year. He saw Super Mario Odyssey as a bonus game and gave $5 of his own money to Aww. donate yeah. for the best game ever. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Oh my gosh. That is stupid Aww. cute. <laughs> so adorable. We also have $50 from Silly Person who says, gotta get that Super Mario Odyssey run. Let's go. It's getting closer. Thanks, everyone. We also have $15 from Jet, who says, you say donate to the Mario Odyssey incentive? I say, yes, chef. <laughs> Thank you so much, all the chefs out there helping us get there again. If we can meet this, we can then also have an opportunity to unlock the chef's costume for that game in Luncheon Kingdom. That is going to be really fantastic. We have to have Mario join the chef crew. All of us are chefs this event, right? We've decided this? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Right. How sad would it be to leave Mario out of the speedrunning community? Come on, we gotta get that chef's outfit for him. He's gotta be part of this. I'm actually going to pivot over to do one check real quick. I wanna get that bombable check. Yeah, sounds yeah. good. Because we know that was gilded. One thing you might not have noticed there, uh, that's a rando specific thing, is being able to play the ocarina underwater. Yeah. And it's a nice little speed up because otherwise you'd have to leave Pinnacle Rock by going all the way back up and you know nobody wants to do that. So underwater ocarina is nice. Yeah, I believe in Vanilla, they found a way to be able to pull the ocarina there. Yeah, yeah. Because, uh, yeah, otherwise going back out there is extremely slow. Also, yeah, this kid's in the way. I I'm not going to lie. I don't remember what the code was, so I'm just backflipping over him again. Uh, 23514, I think. Don't. <laughs> don't bring that in here. <laughs> Get out of here. Right, I'm done. I'm out of here. I'm out. <laughs> So here we have another chest that we looked at at the very beginning of the seed and we saw it was big. So now we're just going to go rush that because it could be something very nice. I'm, I'm calling Mirror Shield. Let's go. You think it's the Mirror Shield? Yeah, oh. why not? Why not? I'm going Great Fairy Mask. I'm going my man, the Dinky Mask. Bomber's milk. Notebook. Ah, uh, uh, milk. Ah, uh, milk. Which you might think like, oh, that's so cool. I love Chateau Armani. I don't have base magic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which, funny enough, if you drink Chateau Armani and then you find magic, yeah. it's already chateaued up for the rest yeah. of that cycle. Which is very funny. That's just how the vanilla game works. And just, you know, you never get to see that. But in Randomizer, you do. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So now let's go. I guess at this point, I'm going Pirate's Fortress. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. You could either go Pirate's play. Fortress or you could go Zora Cape and peek one of the two checks. But either way, eh. I think at this point, you just have to rush density, so. Yeah, because yeah. right now we have those Way of the Heroes. You might think we have enough information to just play towards our last couple of checks, but I actually awkwardly don't have the things that get to some of those. Oh, I can get to one check of what I know, 
And that would be the stock pot in the, the famous day three chest. Of course. So let's go do this first, and then we'll just push it to day three. We'll go check it out. It'll stock pot in was way of the hero as well, right? Yeah. 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 That's Sweet. Why we're prioritizing it. While well, we're doing that, we are now less than ten thousand oh dollars to go God. towards the Super Mario Odyssey and Sendo. We are everyone. at over ninety thousand. Keep it up, everyone. All right, crowd. I need y'all to help me out. Whee! I'm you're playing a randomizer. I thought I was gonna eat it. <laughs> I thought that was gonna crowd. Every time we get under one of our thousands, so to ninety. 91,000, 92,000. Count down for me. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Can y'all do that for me, crowd? Thank you. Let me know because I want to get hype. And I'm clearly not <laughs> hype, as you can tell. <laughs> so this is Pirate's Fortress. This is entirely locked by Zora, and it is one of the most dense areas in the game. A lot of checks really, really fast, and it's also very laggy. So. There's so much on screen. Oh. Oh, that's oh. that's I got caught. oh that's uh, that's stinky poopy time right there. Oh no. Okay, we're in the world. Okay, hold on. All right. Let's all wait. just calm down. Yeah, I'm gonna go after this one then. So I'm trying to catch a cycle. Yeah. There's very specific there, movement you can do yeah, as you this. start. This, okay. <laughs> but if the day transition happens, then the positions of the pirates are reset. And so Spike didn't know when the cycle was going to happen at that point. So I did. less than nine thousand nine audience. Let's go. Woo! So we're going to come around. I'm doing a little bit of different set of movement. Normally, I would actually go up, pound the Goron switch up there, and then drop down and get these other checks to stay perfectly on cycle. But because all that happened, I'm having to, like, make up some movement. I don't have magic, so these swordfish or, or like, whatever they are, bonefish, they are uh, being annoying instead. Uh, can I make this? Time to find it. You know what? God, take the wheel. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, go, go, go. I'm always scared they're going to be like, wait a minute. <laughs> Yeah, so checking those three checks right there, nothing in any of them. We got four checks left in the sewers. And then from there, I don't really want to go up into the interior, but if I have yeah, to... Yeah, in inside the interior, uh, the interior, the interior, uh, there are a couple hookshot locked ones, and although there are a handful of things we can get, it's, like, not ideal, so... But it it's, it's fine, Spike. You're just going to get the hookshot in here. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's, 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 that's what we're calling. Just be yeah. vanilla. Called shot. It could be vanilla. There's a couple checks we could get out of logic. I mean, we could just sit here and have a good time. We're doing fine. Yeah, it is kind of good funny choice. with randos. Like, you, you never want to go to the place you get the item in its original spot. You really just want to go in there once you already have it because the way the game's designed, it's just so much more convenient to, to go through with it. I do see one right here, one All fatty. Right. Show me, me that the, hook. Show me the fatty. No. Ah, baited. I mean, yay! Yay, <laughs> we got health when we already have six yeah. hearts defense. Yeah, what, were you, what were you saying about having six When you get to six, on? you're yeah. dead. <laughs> Seven, I'm out of the tournament, dude. <laughs> Yo, let's talk about tournaments, because uh, randomizers, I think, in just a bunch of games, are the best way to do this sort of like kind of speedrunning craft in a uh, competitive format. Yeah, so... Um, Obviously, with randomizers, the seed length can be variable, which means going for a top time, like a leaderboard for a randomizer, is kind of a silly thing to do. Less so than 8,000 to go. Sorry, we're counting Woo! eight. eight Thank you. Back to you. Uh, the most cohesive way to compare skill in a randomizer is to do races. That looks like a powder keg to me. Oh, Ooh. that's... Uh, there, I don't think there is a world where I need that. I believe you're right. I Yeah, they're actually... Okay, we had to think about that one. That's a big check. All right. Well, that's good to know. But yeah, so we do a lot of races and sorts of Majora's Mask. What's going on, bud? <laughs> <laughs> we'll come back later. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we just recently wrapped up a Blitz tournament, which was really fun. Spike and I both took part in that. Yep. And uh, upcoming next, we have our main tournament series that we run every summer. In our, it's fourth, we say season four is what it is. Um, and it's a little bit more than Blitz. A lot more checks are turned on. So, you know, different ways to route it. Uh, be sure to join the MMR Discord if you are interested in participating. Uh, myself, personally, I started competing in the middle of Season 1 calls, and I somehow managed to make bracket with no practice. So <laughs> if I can do it, anybody can do it. So He's underselling yeah. himself a little bit. is a natural-born gamer. But yeah, the MM Randomizer community, they're, they're such a good community. They like having fun. There's so many different ways to play this randomizer. I'm sorry so, to jump uh, in, but we just skipped 7 and went right to 6. We're hey! to go. I was about to make a 789 joke, but that doesn't work there. I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. What me? What? What's the joke? <laughs> we're still, we're running out of checks. There's only so much more, and then that's, 
should uncork our ability to get to the rest of these Way of the Heroes. Yeah. I'm going to come over here, read another Hinstone, then there'll be another check I can peek up at. There will be one check that is hook shot locked that I have no way to peek what it is, and I'll just have to come back if it is, you know, if I find the hook shot, I'm like, I'm vibing with that. Also, bad news, but with blitz settings, we don't do beavers. So <laughs> <they're laughs> <dead. laughs> That's no. the best news I've heard all day. <laughs> no beaver. We've got it! We have not the bonus game of Super Mario Bros. Yeah. Let's go! Let's freaking go! Heck Thank you yeah. so much, everyone. That is now added to the schedule. You get to see Dangerous in action on that coming up right after this run. Thank you so much, everyone. That is amazing. <laughs> the audio of the waterfall here was coming in. Is that a kid? Oh, that's Fakasu. That's that yo. We're about to quiz ourselves. Let's go. Have you been okay. studying up, Spike? <laughs> I am uh, <laughs> the ultimate chump check. In for the game. Mo you know what? For the most part, just press uh, the middle option. That actually works for the vast majority <laughs> of them. So uh, let's go do that and also do Honey and Darling. We haven't done Honey and Darling yet. Yeah, good to get that out of the way. Honey and Darling is a check that goes away after nighttime. So we want to get that out of the way very soon. I guess I can explain really quick with how Blitz does minigames. Uh, so there's certain minigames in this where you have to do it all three days. But in order to make it faster and randomizer, we just do it so you have to do any one of the three days and you'll get the check. So that's how Honey Darling works. That's how Deku Playground works. And it's, it's much nicer, much faster. You also might notice that constantly, whenever I'm trying to menu in something on either the left or the right side of the screen, Mm -hmm. uh, that I will do like a page over and page back because that snaps it onto that side. Majora's Mask menuing feels really, really good, especially in comparison to how they updated it from OOT. Anyways, what weapon is this? Use a bow. Middle option. Uh, six to eight. Middle option. I'm telling you, middle option is how many cuckoos are there in the, uh, the one? C gets degrees. I'm just saying. What is the name of Anju's father? Uh, Tortoise. Three out of four. Yep. I'm just saying. What's the name of the festival? Blah, blah. Clock yeah. time. Four out of five. That's what I'm saying. Oh, Middle it. option, you will get there most of the time. Okay. Yo, I got claps for that. That was awesome. And at this point, we say our thanks to Zoe for making the randomizer on English so we don't have to do Keaton quiz on Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is not what I want. Yeah. There was a trick I could have done if we had Deku here, but we don't I have really Deku, want to so it's kind of whatever. There, buddy. I was thinking about it too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, this is yet another mini game. We're going to be spinning around on a platform, going up and down, shooting a whole bunch of targets. But Char Buddy, if you've got uh, some donations. I feel like we might have just got a few. Yeah. Yeah, definitely a few donations have been coming in. And I want to let everyone know that now that we've met the bonus game, we can now start working towards that Yes Chef incentive. Again, that will be a chef outfit for Chef Mario, hopefully, in Luncheon Kingdom during our next run. So thank you so much, everyone, for that. We have $50 from The Moon, who says, I do not entirely understand what's going on, but is it fast? Yes, Chef. Yes, MSF. <laughs> Which is a great reminder that we are now in the mood block, everyone, between this and Odyssey. <laughs> yes! Yeah. Anyone that crowd hype for moon block tonight? Woo! Let's go. So many moons. We also have $25 from Dark Excel, who says, loved watching Spike learn this randomizer this year and now doing it for a great cause. Hoping for good RNG and good luck, Spike. Thank you. I appreciate it. I must say, it's pretty remarkable considering how quickly you picked up this randomizer with how, how, how many different places you dip your toes into. You've gotten so good at Majora's Mask so quickly. It's really impressive. Oh, Vidya, I appreciate that. And Vidya, one of the top players in Majora's Mask Randomizer, so just recently took second place. You were this close to taking the championship in the Blitz tournament. That's okay. I'm still very happy with second. All right, stockpot in was the way of the hero. That's because this is the Deku Mask. Ooh. It's the Deku Mask. It is absolutely the Deku Mask. Where's my child at? Yeah! yeah! So that, that $5 that hype train. Day three, $5 Let's hype train. Go. Let's go, baby. $5 hype train. Let's see it, everyone in chat. Let's see it, everyone out there. I'm so excited for this. Woo! I like how we argued about the target thing and then no one said it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so <laughs> what we we're going to say is if you go into the... So day three, Honey and Darling is the shooting game. The other two are the bomb games. So you would need bomb bag logically to do those. So you might have to do day three just to get that check. Um, if you just have Quiver. But another thing you can do, if you go in as Deku Link, less targets spawn, and then you can be expected to shoot it with the Deku Bubbles. It's horrible, because if you've played this game, oh. you know aiming those is, like, the worst thing oh, ever. Yeah. Those <laughs> are actually the worst seeds. They're like, yeah, do that with the Snot Bubbles. It's great. 
Um, but yeah, oh, you can cheese it. You just walk in as Deku and then take the mask off, <laughs> and then the targets don't change, so it's a lot easier. Yes. Don't turn. Don't turn. Don't turn. Don't turn. Thank you. Thank you. Now turn. Now turn. Now turn. Now move That's around. The... <laughs> now move around. Thank you very much. Now don't turn, please. Okay. Thank there you. you. Go. Now this is your your. your guard stealth sequence of Majora's Mask. We got these nice little dots letting us know where yeah, they're looking. Nice. That was actually very not bad RNG. RNG. Very generous yeah. RNG there. Yeah, so Nothing's up there. So a handful of things in here, and you may recall if you play through this game casually, you know, there's this big, huge, you know, Deku Flower sequence. You go buy some beans from this guy. You go get some water. You go exit the palace. You go up to the second level, and you're flying through all these rooms, and that takes a long time. Uh, so Spike has a, uh, a couple tricks up his sleeves. He's going to be showing us to essentially go straight to the end after checking the heart piece on the left side. Yo, I'm going to try to do that strat you taught me yesterday, bud. Oh, yeah, the little damage boost. Yeah, a little yeah. damage boost. We'll give it a shot. Why yeah, this not? Is, this is brand I'm new. probably going to fail this. I just learned it like yesterday. <laughs> little boosty woosty. Little boosty woosties. All right, so I'm going to put it right here. Uh-huh. And I change it to the grand mask. And then And then boo. Oh, that was oh, yeah, okay. You know what? Let's give it one more yeah. try. Yeah. It's dealing with the, the lag on the N64. So the oh, N64 yeah. is smoking, Spike. I don't think it can handle much more of this. <laughs> we get to Deku Palace. It starts chugging. Oh, oh let's give it just one, one more try. 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 Then I'm going to put it right here, and then we're going to come over. It's all right. I have 6,000 health. All right. Wait. Wait. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. For it. Count to seven. Hey. All right. Ugh, that saved time, absolutely. Um, ooh, yeah, we what's need up? that. What's up, oh, Mr. Garoboy? Nice. Um, let's. Okay, so I guess this is probably the fastest way to do this. Yeah, so, we're gonna... so. so to explain why Garo Mask is important, uh, we need to get up to Ikana. We need to get up to Ikana in order to clear Stone Tower Temple. And there's a big ridge where we need to use the Garo Mask in order to build a path. You get a tree that you can hookshot to. Um, what you might not know about Majora's Mask, though, is that Gibdo Mask also works there. So we really only need one of those two masks, but we'll take Garo Mask for sure. Gibdo just means we might have to do the well, so I will take a Garo Mask for sure. Yeah, but you know one of the two checks and the well is dead. So once again, I'm going to jump up on this, just a little backflip right here. Mm -hmm. And then Zora makes this free. You can just do a little side hop, and then he naturally grabs it. Because he's tall. It's whatever. He can play basketball. And I'm going to move up here, not roll, and then switch into the Deku Mask, kill that guy like we did. And it looks like this is actually going to be a pretty nice little cycle. From about 80% of the screen, you can actually blast up and get into this little, little nook and cranny. Oh, oh I think we're going to see it happen. All right, this, ledge, up this warp, is the best ledge in N64 history. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yes, there's a little vision. Good. That's another super easy one. I do, dare we get vanilla Sonus of Awakening? Oh, it's <laughs> healing. All right. Oh. We have got a 50-50 chance we can still get it over here, though. So unless there is one of two checks that is leading to, then... Uh, we, uh, oh, what was I going to say? Uh, let's one of two things. Then the way of the hero for Deku Pass was just the Garo mask. Yep. We're going to do another cute little strat right here. I'm going to go into C up, turn over here. Let's turn to Zora because he's tall. Basketball. That's great. There you go. And you can just jump straight up there and skip out on a number of sequences you got to do on the other side, dealing yeah. with the dragonflies and everything. And that's something we allow because it really just cuts down on the amount of time you're doing moving yeah. around in the overworld rather than actually skipping stuff. Okay, yes. there it is. All right. So that's all of the songs that we need to complete the three dungeons that we have. Of course, that being Woodfall, Snowhead, and Stone Tower, my personal favorite. I love when randomizers are shown at these events because people are like, should I clap for that? Should I clap for that? Yeah, sure. Let's clap for that. Yeah. <laughs> Woodfall he Foolish. He opened a chest. Oh, yeah. Woodfall Foolish. Yeah, you got it. That is my couch commentator, Vidya James. He remembered it better than I did. Okay. All right, so let's go beat a dungeon. Why not? Um, so we are missing three, count them, three items for go mode. Yeah, but one of them's got kind of an asterisk attached to it. Well, so there's hookshot, yeah. fire arrows, and magic I need. Oh, magic, yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, ice arrows you also technically need for go mode. Right, but... Um, I guess I can explain. So ice arrows are kind of in this interesting spot in this seed specifically. Because we started with Georg's remains, or Georg, however you pronounce it. George. Uh, George. 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 Yeah. Georgie Porgy. Uh, so ice arrows functionally do not do anything for us. Um, you do need them logically to cross the gap in Icona Canyon in order to get up to the owl. But there is a trick you can do with hookshot to entirely skip that. And that's considered out of logic. So that means you're never going to see ice arrows in like Stone Tower Temple or anything. 
But if we know that we only need ice arrows and one other item, then we can just ignore ice arrows completely mm -hmm. and just go for Stone Tower Temple, which of course is way of the hero. Yeah. So there is a potential we may need the mirror shield to get something in there, but who yeah. knows? We'll, we'll find out. At this point, we would only need mirror shield uh, if Pamela is required. Yeah. But yeah, that's that'll be fun. So we do that know would be Stone amazing. Tower Temple. Was that what? <laughs> no, that'd just be amazing if this All was right. a Pamela seed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We actually know Pamela is dead because of the Romani Ranch. Oh, game. true. Yeah. Yeah. Logic stuff. Don't yeah. worry about it. I would have expected nothing less from Revan, to be honest. Ah, oh, oh, listen, <laughs> we we could find a way to do it. <laughs> yo, 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 Spike, could you convince me maybe for like a five hundred dollar donation to collect some lemons? Yeah, we oh, could yeah. do the lemons, yeah. the little chickadees. Everyone remembers that's how you get the bunny hood. I'm just saying, we could go do it. We know it's dead, but we could do it. Yeah. Anyways, let's keep looking through checks. We're going through the first of our three dungeons here, Woodfall Temple. Going to clear out eight checks here, and uh, hopefully find one of those three items again: hook shot, magic, or fire arrows to uh, get a little closer to go mode. Nothing there. Yeah. And in dungeons, the checks that we randomize are the small keys, the maps and compasses, the big item like the arrow or elemental arrow that you find. And in blitz settings, we also do chest fairies. So the stray fairies that are scattered around, only the ones found in chests are shuffled. And this is just because if you turn all 15 of them on, it makes the dungeons way too powerful. So from a balance perspective, it makes sense. Woodfall, it only adds three checks. So it goes from a good dungeon to a slightly better dungeon. Gonna use some Goron Pounds here for each of these guys. You can shoot them absolutely to the moon here. <laughs> gonna switch to the bomb here for this one. Show off a couple different strats for how you can kill these guys. Bop. Yeah, just, uh, I wanted to go for a quick spin. I was like, I still don't have magic. This game has so many different ways to kill certain yeah. enemies that you just wouldn't really see if you're not playing Rando. Because yeah, you're never gonna come here as Goron if you're playing a vanilla. Yep. Ayo? Ayo? Oh, oh more. he got easy. <laughs> Golly, I'm filling up a burrito at this point. I found like three of those suckers at this point. <laughs> what? Someone said something. I think it was funny. They're saying that's Let's beans, which I believe one. is a throwback to a previous event. That's beans, right? That's oh. beans. Oh. Shout out to Sky Bills. Shout out to Sky Bills. Also, shout out to this $5 donation trade that did come through for the Deku mask. Thank you so oh, much. Woo! Yeah, right. let's hear it. You know, we'll rattle off for you. I'm just going to fight this nerd. It'll be great. You got it. $5 from Moonblaze Wolf, who says $5 Deku mask trade chef. Thank you so much. <laughs> we have $10 from Lark, who says double the hype trade. $5 from Kalironi, who says $5 Deku mask hype trade. And $5 from E. Glads, who says choo choo. Thank you so much, everyone, for hopping on that donation train. Yeah, it got, I always feel like it's, I, I at least, I'm bad at this game. But uh -oh. then I have to get a little lucky how they jump away. That's a small chest. Uh -oh. I could be crying in three, two, now. Okay, okay. thank you. Uh, that check does nothing. Crisis averted. <laughs> we all saw that letter to Captain. Yeah. <laughs> Life flashing before During our final eyes. hours, oh yeah. no. <laughs> uh, but if anyone noticed, the, that chest was gold, but it was small. Uh -huh. So there's some items that are in the small gilded chests. Those are like key items that typically would go away through time, I think. Yeah. So it's, it's like yeah. potions, milk, um, the and Anjou and Cafe stuff. So like Letter to Cafe, the Pendant, um, Letter to Mama is also in a small gilded check. So you still want to check those, but like yeah. depending on your settings, they might be fine. The skull tokens are in those as well in the fairies if you randomize those, but we're mm -hmm. not doing that. That's for crazy people. Yeah. Basically, again, and like she's saying, anything that just goes away whenever you invert time yeah. or set, reset it. Settings for crazy people, she says, Exactly the sort of setting. Exactly. You I'm also, that's you what you play. <laughs> that's why what I you can say, say that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got two more checks here in Woodfall Temple. Just requires us to go through the first part of the progression of the dungeon. But uh, once we're done with that, we should be able to wrap up Adola pretty quickly and be one third of the way there to getting to our go mode. Yeah, pay no attention to the the clock ticking down at the bottom. We got plenty it's of fine. time. It's all fine. It's fine. Yeah, for a little bit of safety, I went ahead and just played it. But uh, yeah, it's, we should be mostly fine going through here. What you find with MM players is that after a while, just timers and video games don't scare you anymore. Yeah, just like true. Because <laughs> that's for like a lot of people why they're like. I've had so many stories. Char Bunny literally told me before this. She was like, I I couldn't play this game as a kid because the timer stressed me out. Yeah. 
And that's I did not we're part of the speed running community. Today, but you're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that's one of the things I think Blitz does really well from an accessibility standpoint. Um, it cuts down on a lot of the time of day required stuff, which makes it a lot more easy to manage. You still have to deal with time of day, and it's something you learn and pick up as a skill as you play the randomizer. But it's much easier to ease yourself into if you play on Blitz settings. Yeah, like I'll call out. I would say I like. I was trying to be a little aggressive, but I would say a routing error on my part is that I didn't revert time back to day one and then come in here. Because if there's something that you need, like a trade quest item, then all of a sudden, like, you probably will not be able to turn that in in time. All of a sudden, that's like focusing. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. will be fine. It'll be fine. It'll It'll get get no one's ever gotten right burned here. by doing this. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, generally, it is considered safer to reset before entering a dungeon. Um, I mean, hindsight's 2020. That pendant could have very easily been a letter to cafe, and you could have said, well, yeah, should have done that. But yep. thankfully, you got bailed out. Never punished. Never punished. Except when we are. Except when there's a tournament race on the line. Yeah, there's one more check in here. We just have to kill all these little dust bunnies here. I forget what their actual name in. Uh, They're dust right bunnies. They're called Bows is the name of the enemy. Oh, Bows. Yeah, Bows. B-O-E. Right. Lord. Don't tell. Listen, bro. Listen. Did you put it in the last chest of Woodfall? Don't make me open this up. Ooh. Hey. Another bottle. Models. So there are six. Yay. There are six <laughs> bottles. I've been failing this jump lately. I'm probably going to oh, beef yeah. it here. Let's give it a shot. Here, video. Live help me fix this. All right. This so you want to pull out your sword here? Yeah, yeah that looks great. Pull out your sword and just jump slash. There you go. You got it. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. yeah. I was nice. building it up. Yeah, that's fine. I honestly think I was forgetting to pull the, the sword before yeah, that. I can definitely mess with the timing. Well, easy. Not yeah, easy. <laughs> hey, you know, the Clock Town Bell Tower kind of uh, vibes with this whole uh, FF7 track. Yeah, here. it's good in a <laughs> lot of songs. Yeah. It just works. Oh, <laughs> all right. So I got a request. <laughs> just listen to After We Kill Adala here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Everybody yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's, again, big, big shout outs to Gat Lossett and Sound Defense. And again, just the MMR community for all the work they put into this. Gat Lossett and Sound Defense specifically for picking out what tracks to go in which areas. And uh, man, they made some choices, and I stand by them. They definitely them. <laughs> did make some oh. choices. <laughs> Dragonfly, stay over there. Oh, oh no, leave oh, me alone, no. bruh, bruh. Okay. The dragonflies um, are scary. So I've got to do a bit of an alternate strategy here because I don't even have magic. I'm sitting here with a baby sword, so I am going to. I almost never have to do this. Let's give it a shot. Yeah. So this is the Adola stun lock, which basically you crouch stab at a certain rhythm, and Adola will never jump away. It's gonna take a while with a Kakiri sword, but as long as you, okay. That was a bit fast there, but uh, you should be able to get it again. Yeah, just snipe him, and now you're not on the flower. Nope. Yep. Adol was weak in the knees. A little bit of a YOLO shot. That looks like a good rhythm. And you'll notice Adol will just never jump away. You just crouch stab until he dies. Everybody, oh, shut yes. up. Shut up, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is from a Ronaldo soccer game for the Nintendo 64 that did not come out in America. Yeah. That's it. Big That's meme, big meme on Twitter for the last, you know, I don't know, year or two. I don't know how long. But uh, somehow they managed to put it in the video game, in Majora's Mask. So that's very cool. Well, speaking of some meme things, we have a new incentive that just opened. Woo! We now have a Paper Mario glitch exhibition that Yo, we can yeah. unlock. People oh, have already spotted awesome. it before I say anything. We already have $50 towards it, so great start, everyone. We need to get to $20,000, but I just saw us blow through that amount for Odyssey. I know we can make that happen, too. So Paper Mario glitch exhibition, everyone. When you donate, that's an incentive to watch. What are you thinking, bud? This thing gonna be up in Pirates Fortress. I'm Ooh. Sorry. I'm telling you. I mean, there's you, like nothing left. Vanilla hookshot. <laughs> there's like three I, checks. I called it. <laughs> if, if it's actually vanilla hookshot. <laughs> Ooh. Um, do I wanna? I really don't need this cash. I should just invert. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and start uh, time over. We're just gonna go back in the cycle because I think there's nothing left in Clocktown. West Clocktown's already dead. Yeah, let's just go. Let's just go. Um, and then we will head over to Pirates Fortress where there are two checks in logic, and then Zora Hall has one check in logic, and that is all in logic. I'm if thinking, it's actually a Zella really hookshot on the spot, I will put $100 in. Yeah. Uh, I'm thinking you got Deku Playground. 
You got um, oh, dead good playground still there in the north. And as you well. also yeah, have yeah. the the witch healing the witch. Now they have a bomb. Well, we never healed the witch earlier. That's yeah, right. Yeah. That's right. But you can't do it after you finish Woodfall anyway. So you know. We're yeah. Good. Uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and get some cash out. Oh yeah, that check would have been dead regardless. Yep. You know what? I bet this is the witch. I bet this is the witch. Koume. Koume, my girl. Yeah, let's play the. Let's do the playground as well. Yeah. Yeah. Just give me the whole thing. Just give me. That's yeah. One. We'll take. Yeah, that leaves lot. almost nothing in there, but we don't really need it. So first of all, let's buy again that late bottle. Kind of isolated this check a little bit. Yeah. Um, I kind of want to show off the did you playground check, and I kind of want to push it to day two regardless. So yeah, I think you should do that. that. I think you should do that. I think that would be fun. I think we would just all have a good time. I. You know what? Also, give me arrows. Why not? Is this the Wii Shop channel? Wait. Yeah. Which, oh my yeah. yeah. <laughs> this sure diddly is, isn't it? Because everybody knows the Wii Shop and everybody loves to mm -hmm. shop on it on Wednesday. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I got a good couch. I'm you glad. do. I appreciate y'all being here. Appreciate you, Spike. Yeah. The friends donating what? home love this couch as well. We have $15 from Last Centurion who says, shout out to Gothic, Vidya, and Fan for their stellar commentary. Y'all know yes. the game inside and out. Awesome. Hey, thank you. Shout out to you for donating. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, so we're going to push it, push it to day two. You can do the Deku Playground check on any day, but this is another just kind of cool one to show off. Yep. If I did it on day one, it would just be a vanilla little mini game. But uh, instead, we're going to cheat. But no. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. I promise I can do this one normally. <laughs> yeah. It is. Uh, it's quite... Uh, once, once Spike starts the process, uh, I would say it's like... I don't, I don't know how to describe it. I think we just call it rupee displacement is the name for it. Yeah, yeah that's um, what it's called in the trick list. Okay. So essentially what's going to happen is every rupee on the platform in Deku Playground is moving horizontally. It's not moving vertically at all. And they all have a rupee on top. What happens when you delay the game by either putting on a transformation mask or pulling out your ocarina is you cause the rupees to move forward a little bit more than the platform. So Spike is going to do that over and over again as the platforms are moving. It's going to be the, flashing, by the way. Yeah. Probably yeah, call that call, out. Yeah. yeah. And the rupees are going to fall off the platform onto the ground. So we can just go and grab the rupees before the minigame even starts, and then go up and start the minigame. And then as soon as we start, it's like, oh, you're done. You have all the rupees. So you yeah. see there's still two there. Yeah, I'm and you do can see this more. happening right now. You can see them, like, the platforms moving, the rupees aren't. And this is exactly what's happening. Just a couple more here yeah, and they'll get down. Yeah, I think I could just do one more and they'll be on one the... Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Well, we now have to we wait. Gotta wait. Yeah, got to make sure enough. they keep going the same direction. And, yeah. Okay. And I think it was one more, wasn't it? Okay, yeah. yeah. It was literally <laughs> one more. One more. Uh, so let's actually go into Goron. So what's funny is even if you come in here and you are broke, this minigame costs $10. You can cheat, get their $10, pay them back their $10, and then you can play the minigame for free. And chat, we here at GDQ, you know we like uh, going fast. We like world records. We're about to tie the world record right now <laughs> in Deku Playground. Making you got this. history you got this. You can do it. Let's go. Come on. Tom! Yeah! You all just witnessed a world record here live on the GD. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! That was violent. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, you know what? See you, witch. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <it's> <laughs> we going to Snowhead. All right. Another that was huge. Oh my god. Um, oh my Lanta. We are fire arrows and hookshot from Go Mode Gamers. Keep the donations coming in. Did the are we chefing? Are we? Are we yes chefing yet, Charbonny? I kind of lost track. I'm not going to lie. I don't think we ever stopped yes chefing. Woo! <laughs> we still have plenty of chefs coming in. We have $25 from Suju who says, Chef, should we donate more? Oh, I see. Yes, Chef, we'll do our best. Thank you so much. <laughs> there are so many chefs out there. We have $5 from Rutella who says, Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef, right back at you. We have $20 from King of Zeal who says, Yes, Chef. Honestly, Chef. Right away, Chef. We also have $50 from Names Are Silly who says, it's a me, chef. We also have some love coming in for you, Spike, from your community. We have $25 from Chocolate Dave who says, donating for both my bud Spike and my gal Fant. Hope you two have a great time out there in Spike. I'm glad that you found a new game where STT is the worst check location. Yo. <laughs> uh, we don't have bombs. That's fine. We'll get that later. That's yeah, fine. We'll, we'll get it later. Fine. You can get the bomb refill from uh, the next tier. I was like, I forgot if one of these snowballs give yeah, it to me or do. not. They do. Yeah. No, no. I know there's a fairy and a magic, and I never get up to that snowball. The farthest one away is the fairy. 
Yeah. Boop, boops. Yeah, we're good there. Let's go ahead and slap this because I cannot finish this dungeon right now. I would need fire arrows. Oh, I guess fire arrows are going to be in there. Do we I have think, a... Yeah, I think yeah. you're figuring it out where fire arrows are going to be. Yeah, there are fire arrows going to be over there. I actually just, you know what? While, while we're here, hold on. Just a let me go back and get this. So, and then that was there. And then that was, uh, and then that gonna was be over there. Arrows. And stock button is STT. So, what Spike is doing here is he's <laughs> using the logic to deduct exactly where he's going to find certain items. Yeah, I'm looking I over think. my sheet. Uh huh. And so, uh, essentially, what we can know now is STT is way of the hero. And because STT is logically locked by ice arrows, we know that it cannot be ice arrows is the, the way of the hero there. It could be in other areas, but not STT. So, same, with, same with Hookshot, yeah. Yeah, you and Hookshot, hookshot you need to get it. up there. Yeah. So I think where this seed is going is yeah. we're going to get our Hookshot and then we're just going to rush STT. Yeah. Yeah. Because you need fire arrows to beat this edge. Again, we're down to this and, sim and uh, sorry, I almost said it. <laughs> and uh, Snowhead Temple. Yeah. I need fire arrows to be this place, but I need the hook shot to be able to get up and beat Stone Tower Temple. But clearly, Stone Tower Temple is going to have the fire arrows based on that logic. Yeah. But right now, we have no real lead on where the hook shot could be. So yeah. this is my dense area that I can go to. Exactly. Yeah. This is your best play, at, at least in terms of a density perspective. Yeah. So Spike, are we going for the no stop? Ah. You know what? We'll give it one shot. No All stop. right. Let's go. This ramp is so scary to go up. All right. We got this. Got this. Come on, Spike. This is absolutely terrifying. You can just like walk up it, but uh, we build it up. I'm just gonna fall. The camera readjusts. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, 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 into the roll. We're gonna give it one more, one try, more try, and one then we'll try. give it infinite tries after that. Because I'm not gonna stop trying it. We'll be here all night if we have to. What the camera is doing is giving you a little auto readjust there as you like, and it kind of zooms su super far away from you. So you have to be able to hard push against it on the right side. Yeah, you can kind of see it yourselves if you really pay attention here. Right there, yeah. But that time Spike managed to uh, mitigate it a little bit, and we are good. Come on. Oh my god. Let's go! Hey. God gaming. First try, baby. I heard it the that, audience. Yeah. First try. That's what Listen, I felt. I don't remember out. any other tries. Yep. If they're saying it, it must be true. Yeah. <laughs> Mm, do I want to get this check in here? That would be really silly. Yeah, the GDQ audience ever lied to us? I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, like, so, yeah, this can't be anything. Yeah, I think this is not going to be anything, yeah, for sure. Yeah, this, it can't be anything because you need, yeah, 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 yeah we're good, we're good, we're good. We Gucci Petucci. Again, that's just lodged. Like, there's a check there if you kill the three uh, uh, little enemies right there. But I need either hookshot or fire arrows to do that. And based on what we know, we go. Dude, just be the hookshot. Please. That would be super sick. And I would. Oh! Oh! Right, let's I'm going to get out of here. Get oh out of here. We're going to go up the ramp a second time. Okay. <laughs> so that there is uh, the seed actually expects you to go into Snowhead. Get that and leave. You got to double your dip. your fire arrows. Yeah, it's a logical and hard required double dip. Yeah. All so right. Now, yeah, we're going to go over to Stone Tower Temple. Yeah, so there's going to be a lot of stuff that's happening in short sequence here. That's super, super cool to skip a whole bunch of items. Uh, skip a whole lot of a song playing as we get inside uh, climbing up Stone Tower. But the first one, uh, well, we got a little bit uh, to head over there. I think that would be a good time to read a handful of donations. A hundred percent. You got it. We have a small custom $5 train. We have $5 from Anonymous who says, if a nine-year-old kid can donate, I can donate. All aboard the $5 kid train, chefs, choo-choo. Oh, and that was followed that. up. We have $25 from TG Raider who says, let's get a $5 train going for the adorable little kid that put $5 of his own money oh, in. I'll start with my $5 ticket and four other tickets for the lurkers in chat. Come on, chat, let's do this. Hype, 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 hype. Hype. That is so precious. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, that's pretty adorable. We also have $25 from Red Hot Chili Tester, who says, you seem to have met with a wonderful feat being a GDQ, haven't you? Been a long time since my last donation as GDQ 2018, and I couldn't resist during easily my favorite Zelda game. As well. The amount of memories is astounding, and seeing it break and played in a new, unique way is so fun. Good luck, Spike. Yeah, I was opening that there thinking like, oh, do I want to find like some sort of a combat upgrade? But it was a small chest anyways. Yeah. I was already committed. There. By the way, can you say that last donator's name one more time? Because that was awesome. I have clicked and it has disappeared from Red my Hot Chili, Chili Toaster. Te to tester. tester. That was awesome. Go. Thank you. If you're watching, which I assume you didn't donate and bail, we appreciate you. 
Nice Thank gamer you so much. Tag. We're also over $1,000 towards that $20,000 glitch exhibition incentive for Paper Mario. Okay. Thanks, everyone, for getting that one started off the right way. Paper okay. Mario is an absolutely fantastic video game. Yeah. They're going to do a great showcase of it. We'd love to see all the glitches in it. Believe it or not, it's on the N64. It's a pretty broken video game, and it's fun what? to be watched broken. What? And by the way, while we're making our way up here, I just want to throw out there that a couple more, the, there have been so many amazing randomizers that have been made over the years in this community. And uh, a couple more that I just want to give a shout-out to are the Donkey Kong 64 randomizer and that Paper Mario randomizer. Yeah. They're both really cool, and I hope they get a showcase as well soon. Spike, are you referring to Donkey Kong 64 randomizer of Donkey Kong 64 randomizer.com? DK64 randomizer.com. Is that what we're talking about here? Yeah, Donkey Kong 64 randomizer.com. You could go check out DK64 randomizer.com and just, you know, see, uh, see what kind of mistakes you can make. You know, just go for it. <laughs> Yeah, so that was the area we needed the ice arrows for logically to get through, but you know, got saw, that little yeah. pixel shot. Yeah. Spike made that look really easy, but that, is, that is a very <laughs> precise hook shot. <laughs> that is by far the fastest I've ever gotten. And I was like, there oh. you go. The Octrox were kind of just like, nah, man, we cool. I wonder where ice arrows is then. Yeah, because we definitely needed ice arrows yeah. to maybe beat this seed. The hook, or the hook shot chest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe. Over there. <laughs> anyway, Stone Tower <laughs> Temple. Well, this isn't the Stone Tower Temple. This is the regular Stone Tower yes. uh, outside. This is the climb segment. And this is probably, perhaps, I think, the coolest glitchless strategy in the game for, for me personally. So you go through this. There's all these sets of three blocks. I forget how may, maybe video knows the exact number of switches in here. There's a lot. There's so many of them. And you're supposed to use all the transformation masks, play on every single one, but that is very time consuming and we don't want to do it. And we can actually go through this entire segment with only one transformation mask and vastly reducing the amount of times we play. So we have to play, do those first two right here and then can hook shots up to this. And then we'll be playing it one more time. So when Spike hits this switch, he's gonna lock it in place. And this block, you're gonna see it's gonna get stuck right there, see? Now, we're going to just tap this next switch up here as soon as uh, Spike hook shots the eye. I had no idea you could be most or be most hook shot until yeah, I Yeah, it's this. another like weird change between OT and MM. Anyways, you're talking about a very Yeah, cool yeah. Stuff. So um, yeah. you press that switch, that moved the blocks. Now, we don't need to keep that block there. It's just going to go on back, but it's done its job. That block that was stuck, it is now right over here. So now we're going to hook shot up to it and just jump on the block. And this is where the magic happens. Spike remembers which switch he had pressed with his statue, and we gonna we take, take a personal oh, ride, a ride all the way up. Yeah, so and with <laughs> with that, normally you have to play. Yeah, and that's all just knowledge. That was great, but I appreciate the applause. There, that <laughs> normally you play the elegy like nine or twelve times. Too many know. times. Yeah, yeah. many. That, I just played it there in four, so that's really cool. I had to remember. Also, which if you notice, the cutscene is skipped. Like Link doesn't play the song again after it just puts the statue down and goes and yeah. i the blocks are sped up too right yeah they're they faster are. Yes. than they are normally By so this yeah. is way better than yeah. the vanilla game and here we're doing it one last time you just move one block over it takes it right yeah. back and yeah. we're going into stt hang on do you guys hear that music is that yeah. creepy castle that DK might be 64 yo dk64 randomizer.com <laughs> yo of dk64 <laughs> randomizer.com fame let's go let's go oh this might this be might go be mode yeah. oh my any God. gilded chest we see could be it we need those fiery fiery arrows and we can go to the end of the video game uh let's you know i don't well, well what are you gonna do or are you gonna not this is assuming fire arrows are just in the chest, though. It could I still know. be something that, like, leads to fire arrows. Yeah. Like, yes. it could be cafe mask. We did find oh. letter to mama right away. Yeah. You know could, what? Let me could just be letter to cafe. Before I jump over Let's here. just see what this Let is. Let me just prep this as well. Yeah, can I just comment, you know, with that bomb you coming by, that dragonfly coming by, there's so many, like, really annoying enemies in this game. Right. <laughs> oh, there's so many annoying enemies in this game. It's ridiculous. All right. Go mode in three... Two, one, no. no. Oh. That, is, that, is, that is the most useless mask in the yeah, game. Yeah, that's one of the few masks in the game that does not lead to any checks in these settings. Woo! In basically any setting. Any setting, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. in the, the vanilla game, it just does nothing. Yeah. <laughs> So we're going to be going through a series of about 24 checks right here. There is one that is locked by the fire arrows. Obviously, that can't be fire arrows. Otherwise, this seat is broken. That ain't one. Um, oh, yeah, I can't hit. Is there an angle I can shoot that at? Uh, you can shoot it from the other half of the temple. Yeah, I was going to say, I think we have to earn the right to do that. If we had ice arrows there, you could make a platform on the water and shoot the, the sun light switch, switch down there. Yeah. Hope and it's not that. Yeah. And yeah, big shout outs as well to having the light arrows, not having to deal with the mirror shield oh, uh, yeah, in the sure. uninverted stone tower temple. This makes 
everything just so much easier, especially that spot there. I'm trying to look for a little bit of a magic re-pickup because we go through a lot of light arrows here. Nope, one of these is going to give it to me. I hey, I think it. Yeah. Right. Now I'm just going to do a little peek here to conserve some of that magic. Nope. Nice. Don't need that. And yeah, light arrows here just completely bypasses the puzzle in this room, which is very nice. This is the worst room in the game. Yeah. Yes. Normally, this is the path to light arrows in the normal game, but because we have them, we can cheese the temple. They made you bit. work for it with that room. Yep. Nope. Ain't nothing in there. Don't have to do that check. Oh, you should show off the, the ladder that's in here. Oh, yeah. Let's I'll drop down and show the ladder. Yeah. This is one a lot of people don't know exists. It wasn't added until, like, the U.S. version, wasn't it? Yeah, it's not in the Japanese version. And if I'm not mistaken, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure it's not in MM3D because the maps in that game are based on the Japanese version. So, yeah. But here there is a light switch, or a sun switch, rather, that you can hit, and it spawns a ladder that lets you skip the entire updraft puzzle in this room. There it is. So one thing I will say about this seed that's super interesting, again, we are hunting down that last item for Go Mode. I have somehow not found a single combat upgrade. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still rocking the baby sword. I don't even have ice arrows right now, which actually could come into play to help out for some stuff. So, uh, like, this guy right here, I'm going to have to three-cycle him. Mainly lean on the light arrows. That is the thing that packs the most punch in my inventory. So, what's up, Garo? Oh, the N64 lag. Oh, it's, it's so it's beautiful. so junky. What's up, dude? Nice backflips. And then go into the immediate shield. Oh, where's he's backing me up? He backing me up. I love that sound effect. Yeah, Never nice get tired of it. Oh, he's too close. He's, you know what? Back up. Back it up. Just relax there, bud. <laughs> Easy. Okay. Damageless, we'll take it. Dang, he takes four light arrows. Yeah, if you have ice much. arrows, fun fact, he dies in like two cycles. The yeah. ice arrows are super chunky. Because what on you him. can do is you can shoot him with ice arrow and then hit him a second time with your sword. Oh, oh. so this is normally oh. the light arrows chest, but they might have changed color the color slot? on it a little bit. No, oh. that's a cow. Oh, oh. oh. hold up. Oh. Uh oh, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way. Move. Yo, can we get a $5 moo train going? Let's do it. Are you guys saying moo or moo earns? I think they're saying DK64 randomizers are all. Let's go! <laughs> Not you That's too. my kind of crowd. Oh, oh, every check. I love chest size matches contents because every time one spawns yes. like that, you're just like, oh my gosh. Some people think it's less interesting, but... Hey! hey! We are, we are go in mode. go mode, go mode, go mode. That's a fairy. Where was magic? Is there one in here? Okay, let's leave. So I would say for people who are doing stuff, we're going to come in a little underestimate. Uh, I would say we are 15 minutes from being done. Just, yeah, that, yeah. just so production and dangers primarily knows. <laughs> Um, I need magic. Um, yeah, it's, you know, okay, we're sure. going to do this. Yep. <laughs> we're doing this. Okay. But, uh, yeah, so we have the fire arrows. That's going to allow me to unfreeze goat so we can defeat him. Yep. Just wake him up. And then uh, we'll, uh, and then we, now we can go beat Stone Tower Temple as well. I, unironically, I've, this is like maybe once every like 30 or so seeds that I get one where I have no combat upgrades. Yeah. So we're doing this sucker with the baby sword. I don't even have... Um, I don't have double magic. I don't even have the ice arrows. It's all good. The music for the Majora fights is really good, so it can be. A yes, fight. it is. <laughs> oh, oh. Hey, but Do you we still get got that giant shot? mask? No. Oh, it was. Yeah, you gotta. You want to miss low on this shot. The top like third of it doesn't actually give you the shot. It's a weird hitbox, yeah. Yes, this is gonna be a pretty fun twin mold. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> no way. Uh. Are, you, are you? Are you for real? <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, this is Takata and Fugue in D minor by Johann Sebastian Bach. <laughs> Just the whole song, the whole thing. <laughs> You've been waiting to say that all day. I have. <laughs> all right, yeah, fan. If you want to explain this trick, yeah, this is a super super awesome thing to skip most of the dungeons. Spike's doing this uh, texture setup on the ground, so normally you'll be flipping around using shield drops, but oh, now trying to 
Salvage Maybe can the mm, no. Nah, okay. Anyway, so we're sp we're standing on this very specific spot on the texture on the ground, and we're trying to uh, she'll drop a bomb and then roll and then do a 90 degree turn and not target that enemy over there. And if done correctly, we're just going to be facing to the left with the Z target open. The bomb's going to launch us over. Oh. And yeah, it depends on the position of that. Can be um, a little bit. Annoying, you know. Yeah, he needs to back up very slightly. Yeah, so he's like, do this. like coming in way too far under estimate. We need to slow him down yeah. a little bit. <laughs> yeah, so uh, as soon as we uh, get that very specific spot, this is a pretty difficult lineup to do since there's like no consistent setup. Gee! Oh, come on. Come on Bruh. Oh my gosh, what a hater. I've, I've never seen him do it three yeah, times this is in a row. Pretty unlucky. You know what? <laughs> That says 2.30 on that estimate down there. There's probably some production that's like, get him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give, give, give us more. We were all still at dinner. Yeah. yeah, it's the song. Four in a bunch of poop poop. Ha ha. Okay. Wee. Wee. <laughs> all right, dog, you need to get out the way. <laughs> it's okay. This is it. I'm, I'm calling off. I'm, I'm blessing this one. Oh yeah, we'll be fine. It's gonna, yeah, it's already moving out there. You can't even see it. Don't worry okay. about it. He's going to just stay over there. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be good. Oh, my lamp. Okay, you know oh, what? Let's try it. Because oh. sometimes you can just get lucky on the position. It'll grab yeah. anyways. <laughs> I would say try to be a little bit more right on the C up. Just try to line it with the... With yeah, the I'm, I'm wondering if I can make an adjustment and it'll just, like, mitigate this. Uh, let's boop and let's... You know what? Let's pop it like right That looks up. good to me right there. There you go. All right, this oh, oh, oh. Hey. Hey. God. And now we're... Uh, this is basically leading us to the mini boss room, which we're going to... First try! First try. Yeah, yeah, sure. That was the first try. Yeah. So it's about the same speed to just void out or try to bait him away. But if you try to bait him away, sometimes he just lands on top of you anyways. So now in the next room, we got the Igor. The Igor, you can either take out with two light arrows or bombs. I'm going to use the bombs method because yeah, we got him. Master. It's cool. And that'll just conserve my magic anyways. So I'm going to grab it, and then I'm going to shield drop back. Nice recoil flip. Games. Yeah, that was sick. Yeah. Awesome. My run's not invalidated, right? I didn't just no, cheat. that's allowed. Don't yeah, worry. that is allowed. Still Listen, points. I'm a moderator. I'm the first one who's going to tell you you're banned. <laughs> <laughs> I will also say we legitimately have a $5 Moo train going no, right yes. now. Yes. Yes. It was all worth it. <laughs> We have five dollars from Curry Master who says Moo. We have five dollars from Lovey Catman who says Moo Train. We have five dollars from Moo who says Moo 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 Moo. We have fifty dollars from Anonymous who says Moo. And we have five dollars from Spike Goku who says Moo. Spike Goku, you're my man. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. I think you should just put Romani's mask on. Like why not? Dude, <laughs> that was the best idea all night. You are a great commentator. Let's Thank do you. it. Hey. <laughs> Move. And uh, no, this does not do anything, but <laughs> I'm here for all the moves. <laughs> <laughs> That's a real, you wake up from Vegas like, what, how did I get here? What? <laughs> Bruh. So, all right, so yeah, this fight. Yeah, so Twin Mold, you might not know this, but Twin Mold actually has two colors, red and blue. And each color is weak to the opposite colored elemental arrow. So the blue one is weak to fire arrows, which is what Spike's going to set up to do here. Unfortunately, we don't have ice arrows, so our next best option is light arrows that we have to use on the red. But it's still going to be a lot faster than if we were to uh, just do the fight nice normally. Hit. Yeah, that was a good hit. These, these shots can be a little tricky, so uh, Spike's going to take a little bit extra time to make sure he has the shots lined up. Yeah, because obviously we are limited on magic as well. Yep. So they're going to be doing triple damage with the fire arrows on that one. So I know that one needs one more fire arrow shot. I'm just going to stay away from me, stay away from me, stay away from me, stay away from me. Thank you. Ah, I knew they were about to dunk on me. And now I need to switch over real quick again and take this one out. Nice. Yep. Very good. So now with the other one, the light arrows will still do four damage apiece. So I've already hit him one time. He's got 16 left. Ideally, I can hit him with four light arrows. I shouldn't have enough magic to be able to do that. So I'm going to have to do two damage apiece with regular arrows from there. But it also, should still be fine. Also, if you're just tuning in now, make sure we got to listen and be quiet when the boss clear fanfare God, goes. Because yes. it's a good one. Yeah, hitting these shots is not easy. Yeah. So yeah. One thing you might know notice about Twin Mold Phase 2, it starts moving a lot faster than before, 
Um, but it's a lot less aggressive than phase one. So it's kind of a trade-off if you want to kill one of them really quickly and let the other one just, you know, run around amok. Or do you want to balance it so you're killing one and then the other one just has one hit left? Oh, oh that's a hitbox. Yeah. The, oh, yeah. Well, all the way uh, down. Quite something. So I've got to hit him with seven more arrows. So I got seven, I got 18 shots to do it. Bro, bro you got robbed. Yeah, the, you know what, bring it, help it, us bring count it, him bring down. It, bring it in. <laughs> bro. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to cancel out of this one. Oh, dude, don't just, <laughs> don't do the worm. I know you're a literal, literal worm. All right, I need the Moo Mask to give me power. Moo powers. Moo. All right, six to go. Five. <laughs> Moo with me! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he is in my face. He mooing. Right, one more. One more. And Zero everybody, everybody shut move. up when this happens. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's right. One, Just a move break. You can do it after. <laughs> <laughs> I will pay you an amount of money. Oh, there's, oh, I was going to say, there's one more. Okay. <laughs> All right. If you only had seven shots, what would you do with it? I would just get this shot first try, right? Miss six and clutch I it just out. wouldn't miss. Hey. <laughs> yes. All right. Let's listen. He dies for so long. <laughs> Shout out to Ronaldo Soccer or whatever. Might be a good time to push it to night three, by the way. Gurry, right. Yeah. Don't worry, I got you, baby. Is it night? Oh, I was going to do it after the dude stopped dunking on me. Yeah. Well, so you know what? We're just going to night three right here. All right, while I am making my way up to the final boss, hold up. While we're making our way up there, let's go ahead and get one more big old push for donations. We got to take out Goat, and then we got to take out Majora to save Termina and whatever else. You got it. We have $25 from Saucy, who says DK64Randomizer.com. <laughs> of course. And then we have $25 from At The Violet Hour, who says this donation brought to you by DK64Randomizer.com. And then we have $50 from Humphrey, who says, I was saying moo <laughs> <laughs> We also have twenty dollars. We also have twenty dollars from Dot Lawson, who says, "Hey, uh, Dot Lawson here to spike at everyone at SGDQ 2023. Much love from all of us at the Majora's Mask Randomizer Community and Discord. Go and take this runaway spike. MMR has become one of my favorite randomizers of all time, and I am so happy for it to get a spotlight at this event. Also, big shout outs to the custom music we, the MMR community, have put together to be featured at this run from all the amazing custom music makers in our community. Hope the audience has been listening well." Smiley face. Yeah, I'd just like to give a quick shout out to GDQ for allowing MM Rando to be in the marathon. Yep. I know normal MM speedruns have been in before and they'll definitely be in again, but uh, it's really nice to have this opportunity to show off our fun little side project with the game that still shows off a lot of cool execution tricks while demonstrating some knowledge of stuff you might not see in a normal speedrun. It's nice. Zelda little, yeah. yeah, Zelda games just lend themselves so well to randos. Yeah, definitely. Twilight Princess rando's been popping off lately. Wind Waker rando's really good. Sky, Skyward Sword rando. Should probably not chuck one. Oh, no stop, no oh, stop, that. no that stop. Was stop. That was try. Speaking of no stop, SM64 rando no stop coming up later in the marathon. Ooh, Yo, yeah. hold up. Yeah, how are we doing on that Paper Mario showcase out of Curiosity Chart? We're making some good progress. We're at $2,500 out of the needed 20000 So thank you, everyone, for getting those donations in over 10% of the way there. Keep it coming, Gabers. Keep it coming. So so I tell me, you think, oh, you still got to go through an entire dungeon. Uh, we're going to be able to do this place really quickly. The main uh, mechanic of this dungeon is the kind of central plate that you have to like rise up and you have to go around and Goron punch all of the little discs out uh, so you can work with that. However, we're gonna completely bypass all of that because that's slow and dumb and we don't want to do it. So I'm gonna first go ahead and Goron roll over here, do a quick hook shot, a couple of pixels to work with to nail this torch up here. And then we're gonna do a nice little jump down to try to avoid that. Wait, uh, don't worry, in the cutscene, I put on the Moo Mask there. We're back. Hey. We're back yeah. in business. 
you know, one thing I don't think we ever mentioned um, is that, you know, we haven't been picking up any keys or boss keys. Oh, uh, oh that, yeah. That, that is oh, one yeah. thing, yeah. So, uh, figured, yeah, you know, we're on our last dungeon. We can, we can sure. Start yeah, the <laughs> big thing is that keys in Majora's Mask dungeons don't really add a ton. So we found it was a nice way to, like, add a little bit more to the dungeons while making it a little bit more streamlined. You don't have to worry about finding keys. Yeah, this right here that Spike's going to do, this is what allows us to skip the pillar. So with a very precise jump, he's going to go uh, look down there, use a fire, take out that uh, that giant snowball there. Going to be doing a uh, somewhat precise jump slash. Landon nice. in there. Let's go. Rev it up, 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 rev it up. Yeah! All right. Shout-outs to Revan. <laughs> Shout-outs to Revan. Shout-outs to Revan91, who came up with the Blitz settings, did the vetting for this seed for GDQ. Just a really good friend. Also plays a lot of the OOT MM combo rando yeah. that is also going on. The, yeah, the last two randomizer tournaments we had for MMR were both settings that Revan came up with, because he, he was the one who came up with Mystery as well, which is really cool. Yep. Love you, Revan. We got one more boss here, pre-Majora, and then this is uh, the optimal strat that you always want to do anyways. We're going to roll up in the corner. You might know this casually. Like, God, there's so much lag. It's N64. Um, <laughs> this is like a 20-minute cutscene. Um, <laughs> is that you roll around as the Goron, you bounce into him. That's really slow. It's a little janky. We're going to try to roll up to a specific dot on the floor, and I'm going to try to shoot him with an arrow around the corner and try to get off a series of 15 shots. Vidya, if you'd like to explain more of the specifics yeah, here. So basically, you're you're getting into a spot right where Goat is going to stand and wait for you to get in his sight and shoot these lightning bolts. After a while, he gets bored and just starts running, so that's why we're side hopping to get actually into his view. And then we dodge the lightning bolts, and then we just shoot him where he, he can't see us, but we can still hit him. And so this is going to kill Goat in just a couple more hits here. Shouldn't be fine. There you go. Nice. Thanks. Well done. And we'll listen one last time. Wait, everybody, quiet. <laughs> it takes a long. <laughs> Woo! There you go. And so that was the optimal spot for Goat to die, by the way. It yeah. has a couple different spots, but this puts it so you're just right in front. Nice, nice Storm Mask. You're just right in front of the Blue Warp here. So, yeah. very well done. That that Goat fight could not have gone any better. Yeah, because what you ideally want to have is you might have noticed, with anybody with a keen eye, that Goat started running towards me. You want him to start moving towards you when you hit him with the last arrow. Yep. That makes it to where he dies right in front of you. All right, we're going to the moon. Uh, any other shout-outs you want to have before I have this fight? It's going to be tough because I only have the baby sword, but y'all go for your shout-outs. Let's start. What, what, I have to talk about myself? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, uh, Vidya looked this way. You know what? I just you know what, Vidya, the I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put the football. You first. Me That's first. Right. Okay. <laughs> well, my only real shout out. I have one shout out and one kind of plug. Uh, my bit one shout out is to Zoe Zolotova, who is the lead developer for MMR. Um, making a randomizer. I don't know if it's obvious. Making a randomizer is really hard. Moo, by the way. Moo. But yeah, the amount of work that Zoe has put into this randomizer over the last couple years and the amount of feedback and how receptive she's been and all the changes, I could not have asked for a better rando dev. Here we go. Get some music. Uh, my one plug <laughs> is we do have Majora's Mask Season 4 main tournament happening this summer. Uh, it is totally like you don't have to do anything, no experience required to enter. If competitive randomizers kind of tickle your fancy a little bit, definitely join the MMR Discord. I don't have a link on hand, but you guys have Google. Um, if you want any help, my name is Vidya James. I'm Vidya underscore James on Twitter. My Twitch is Vidya, five letters, very easy to remember. If you have any questions at all about racing randomizers for MMR, uh, hit me up. I'm your guy. I'll answer anything you have. Um, first shout out that comes to mind, I want to give one to Pushy Mizumi. Pushy does a lot of glitch hunting specifically with MMR. So Pushy finds cool strats that you would really only do in a randomizer, and he's got like a giant YouTube channel. He streams as well, um, so yeah, check him out. I also stream on Twitch, like I said earlier. I play like the crazy settings in MMR most of the time, so if you want to see me suffer, check me out. I'm just Gothic Zelda on Twitch, and yeah. All right, fan for you. Yeah, so I just want to you know give a big shout out to you know all the donors who've been 
no. So <laughs> kindly giving a whole bunch of money to like get the Super Mario Odyssey incentive like met yes. super early. So big, uh, big thanks to everybody for that. That's awesome and coming up because like we got one moon here. There's gonna be 124 moons in the next. Moon. Oh, gosh, <laughs> so much more moon. Yeah, I love it. The moon block. That's <laughs> the, the so moon good. block. But you I'll got 45 seconds left of the time. I forgot to advance. So you can't. Yeah, have yeah. What do you do on your stream? I do. So like I do a lot of randomizers in my stream. Twitch.tv slash Manta underscore TV. Would love to love to have you. Do MM rando, OT rando, all the randos. DK64 randomizer. Dot com. Dot com. All these, no. all of these days. I, I, I could be convinced. I could be convinced. My 64 probably couldn't handle it, though. Yeah, know? that's true. It's, true. it's already spoken from this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't give it too much. Yeah. I want to give a massive shout out to my commentators for covering up for. So, one. One aspect of this, you do it every once in a while, is you forget to set your time of day, and you have to just gauge that off of how much you have left to do. I should have done it somewhere back in Stone Tower Temple, so that you, you know, that is the sort of thing. Eh, we're sitting here, we're vibing, we're having a good time. That costs you three minutes, roughly, in a, uh, you know, like a tournament race. So uh, don't do that yep. if you like play competitively. But anyway. <laughs> sometimes it's unavoidable. Yeah, we were talking. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we had a good conversation. Yeah, got some moves in. Yeah, have you ever said at memorando.com? <laughs> yeah, we're working on it, working on it. <laughs> All right, so again, like... Uh, I'm so psyched to see how this fight goes. <laughs> yeah, uh, this, it's been a long time Your since I've done this. Your is kind of scary, too. Oh, yeah, I should turn around and get those arrows first. Yeah, but we'll... Hopefully, we'll we've got seven hearts and double defense, so... Yeah, we're going for the Goron Thunderdome, yeah? Yeah, I'm definitely going to Thunderdome on Phase 2. Well, Zora plus Light Arrows on uh, Phase 1. Uh, let's turn around and just get a little refillage right here. So, so okay, nice so three phases. Yeah, I appreciate that a lot. So for here on Phase 1, uh, I'm going to be using the Zora Fins to knock him down, and then I'll use four sets of Light Arrows. I ideally want to kind of drain my, my magic as much as I can so that phase three will work out a little more conveniently. I should have actually just not grabbed the magic because I think that's enough for four light arrows. But anyways, that's we'll figure it out. Fine. I'm first going to roll up and move slightly to the right because I want to make sure when I knock down the mask that it doesn't... Oh, I'm just going to... Y'all chill to the Sonic 06 music. Yes. I'm not going to talk. His world. Oh, you got robbed there. This part can be kind of scary as Zora as well, because the if you get hit with fire or ice as Zora, you void. So if the mask shoots the lasers at you, you just have to restart. Ideally, Spike is going to stun the mask before it can get those attacks off. Yeah, Zora Link is just allergic to all the elements. Yep. <laughs> and you are locked to hitting them once per cycle. Yeah. Yeah, I would say that was that. a very perfect mask. Okay, yeah, that was good. So good. now phase two. By the way, this next one, I, I'm not going to say what this next one's game is from. I want to know if anybody in the crowd knows what it's from. I'm going to drop a bomb right where he's standing. That is a coordinate zero, zero. For whatever reason, if you bomb that, it will always knock him over. And I'm going to try to stun lock him with the Goron ground pounds over and over and over again. By the way, this bomb hitbox only exists for phase two. No idea why. It's just only phase two. But as you see, it got stunned. And this is the Goron Thunderdome. Nice. All right. That was All a right. perfect phase two, actually. So, that was really good. Yeah. The last phase, <laughs> Wrath has 40 health, and your sword does one damage. So we are going to need to hit Wrath 40 times, but that is going to be time as soon as Wrath dies. Yeah, this is a... I need to chain 40 perfect crouch stabs together. We'll see if we can make it work. So immediately come out of it. That's the wrong board. We're just That's wrong board. D-pad, D-pad. D-pad moment. <laughs> oh, Chucky. Wrath will never dodge your arrows if you have light arrows equipped, even if you have no magic. Oh, he knocked you out of the way. one of 40. All right, one down. 39, 39 to go. go. Okay, hold up. Yeah, shield is your best friend in this fight for sure. Oh, the light arrow lag. Yeah. Oh, oh that was, Okay, yeah, but now the lag is lag. gone at least. Yeah, it is in the side of the arena in the center. What is the timing? 
Okay, at least we are working it towards the side. Ugh. It's all right. I only now have to chain 37 crop <laughs> stats together. We did oh, it. It's oh pushing God. me out of the way. Oh, no. Okay. Hold up. Stop taking my Z target. Stop taking my Z target. Hold up. 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 <laughs> okay, hit it. I'm not used to fighting with babies. Oh! oh yeah, so the masks, for the most part, if they stay off screen, they're not going to mess with you. That was a little unlucky. That, that, that mask came in with the chair. <laughs> with the chair. <laughs> I think you're about halfway there. Oh, okay, get out of here. This isn't your story. Move along. No! Yeah. <laughs> there were like 39, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Something like that. Are the Beyblades? Yeah, the Beyblades are out. The Beyblades are coming out. It's yeah. almost dead. No. Oh my gosh, that was an unbelievably tiny shot. That went like shot. right over Link's model. All right. Please, I'll do anything. Yeah. Ah, time! Yeah. God! GG. GG. That was awesome. <laughs> That's a great time for a marathon. Yeah. So that was really fast. That's yeah, a yeah. really good time. That was a good all right. Scene. We already did all of our shouts. I want to give a big shout out to though to Vidya, Gothic, and Fan. Thank you for joining me. Thank you all so much for getting that Super Mario Odyssey run match. And let's let's keep going. SGDQ 2023, Super Mario Odyssey by Dangerous coming up right now. Let's go. Well, thank you so, so much to Spike Vegeta for that incredibly hype run. That was great. I think this donation pretty much sums it up. $5 from Moo Jora's Mask. Who says Moo? Thank you so much, everyone. Beautiful job, crowd. We're going to take a quick break to get set up for our next run, but don't go anywhere. Super Mario Odyssey is up next. Watch out. These teas are coming in fast. All right, everyone, you are watching Summer Games on Quick 2023, live here from Minneapolis, Minnesota, and powered by Twitch. We are currently working on our upcoming game, Super Mario Odyssey, but after that, we are going to have a Paper Mario run. That's going to be fantastic, and there is a glitch exhibition we can meet for that. That is currently at about $3,000 out of a needed $20,000. So when you're donating, make sure you select that incentive and keep those donations coming through. We have a lot of love coming in from everyone. Thank you again so much. We have $10 from Fluffy Kitten 32 who says, you all are doing amazing. Keep up the fantastic work. We also have $25 from Anonymous who says, good luck to all of the runners today. And we have $250 from Matt R who says, GDQ is always such a pleasure to watch. Good luck to all of the speedrunners, and thank you so much to the staff for all the work you put in for such a great cause. We also have $50 from Anonymous, who says thanks to all the runners and staff for another great event. Well, thanks to all of you for donating. You know what? It's been a while since we stretched that right last one was really long. Let's all take a stretch break. We're going to take one more break, but again, we'll be back soon with Super Mario Odyssey.
Welcome back, everyone. You're watching Summer Games Done Quick 2023, and we are getting set up for a Super Mario Odyssey run, which is going to be absolutely fantastic. Thank you again so much to everyone for meeting that bonus incentive. And hey, speaking of incentives, Paper Mario Glitz Exhibition, now at $3,400 out of a needed $20,000. Thanks for keeping that one moving, everyone. Really appreciate it. We also had a follow-up on one of our $5 trains from earlier. We have $5 from Joefish who says, the $5 child donation gambit really works. We also have $5 from AZHP who says, I'm the Grinch, but that $5 kid train melted my heart. $5 train for little chefs. We also have $5 from WAC and HAC who says, kid donation train. Thank you so much everyone for amplifying the generosity of one person with that beautiful, beautiful $5 train. And with that, I know there's some really cool things at this event. One of those is prizes. Are you all ready for a prize segment? Yeah. 